<laughs> Wrong song. Ooh, what a hot start, huh? Yeah. <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> and welcome to your Thursday Night Delight. I, of course, am one of your hosts, Sean the Right Way. And joining me, as always, I mean, he's got a real serious grind. He looks focused. <laughs> I think it's like a Hogwarts cap. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> talking about Brent from Brent Squares. Yo. Mr. Double Shades himself. And back <laughs> once again. A show favorite, a great personal friend. Oh, we have not seen son. her in so long. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce <laughs> the mistress of the minifigure. I knew it. I was like, we it's are gonna talking be about. I like it. I like it. The legend, <laughs> I love it. the one and only, <laughs> just too good. <laughs> Sarah. Hey. Hello. It's so great to be back on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and this little show, this silly thing right here that you guys decided to tune into is... <laughs> spawning into the map. I like floating around though. It's a lot of fun. Like we just floating. spawned into the map. Synchronized floating. Spawning into the map. Yeah. Spawning into Fortnite. Just... <laughs> A couple of brickheads. Yeah. yeah. There's the right song. I think uh, that's probably not there the first time that's ever happened. I mean, look, I was I was overwhelmed with excitement. <laughs> Our friend is back on the show, oh. ladies and gentlemen. Thank so, you. Uh, Gosh. So, so, so I, I got to say, Sarah, what's new with you? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Animal Anything Crossing new? Let's go, let's go <laughs> Yeah, what's, what's happened since I last appeared? Lego Animal Crossing. Hey that's yo. crazy. That's I, something. I, I want I want to get in so we've done that to death lately on the show, but I do want to get into it a smidge with you tonight because <laughs> um you were, you know, obviously someone who rides for that and was super excited about it. I watched your reviews. I feel like oh, overall you. you liked it, but I felt like you were also disappointed. Like if you had to assign a letter grade real quickly, what would you what's the letter grade on the wave? Okay, I'd give it a B, a high C or a B. I okay. love a lot of what it does because it it brings over what I love from the game, which is customizing houses and, and building yeah. your village into Lego form so easily. So much better than how Mario has brought it over, you know, with this electronic system. Let's not right. mess with that. Like, I like that this is just organic. In many ways, this is just like Lego Fabuland. Like, I get those Fabuland vibes. We got to get Power. you and Mark... You and Mark. Right, I, was about, I was just about to say, Mark had the same. Back on the circuit, Sarah. You should go hey. on the Brick World. Go on the Brick World show <laughs> because Mark will talk your face off about the Fabuland possibilities. Yes. With, yes. Um, by the it way, really uh, shout out to the Girth Gang. We're going to do the official welcome of the Girth Gang, but everybody is so so happy to see you, Sarah. Looking oh. just too gorgeous. There's going to be a lot Thank of fun you. tonight. Can we get oh a? God. Can we get a just two rant tonight? Because you know when it comes to Mario, mm, you had you the most legendary go. rant of all rant of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Which you tried to walk back, but I was like, no, we all enjoyed it. I thought it was a good rant. Which rant? Uh, wait, this, which which rant? Which rant? Which rant? You went nuts on uh was it Bowser not including a figure? Oh, like, that, that, that Bowser. Oh my gosh, that was a controversial one. That was yeah, that was I crazy. think that's what they're talking about. The just two rant. <laughs> uh, just two incredible uh the puns. Oh. These guys know how to get call outs. You call out the puns just too girthy. You know it. We are all. <laughs> yes. We are. All Thank you. Definitely These are great. <laughs> in the building. Um, Thanks for all the kind words in the chat. on the background. Is Mario Appreciate smoking it. a pipe in that background? Um. Oh, no, that's his steering wheel, I think. <laughs> oh, it I does look like it. he's like. I mean, it's Mario. He's got a big old cigar or something. I thought Mario did shrooms, but anyway. I don't <laughs> Yeah, my thing though with Lego Animal Crossing, my hang up is that I do feel like you have you seen that post where I think Brickfinder posted it where they have the ideas nooks cranny, you know, the, the shop. Yeah. And then you see the Lego version and it's so downsized. It's yeah. so downsized. Yeah. So I, feel like, like, I don't think I told you, Sarah, but I think you'd be proud. So I went in there, I was like, I'm definitely getting one. My mm -hmm. my daughter ended up playing it, you know, uh, on road trips and stuff. So like, and I played it of course growing up and, and I, and even in 2020 and all that, 
Anyways, oh, yeah. the, net, the long story short is I was like, I'm looking at everything and I'm like, I just went for the Nook's Cranny right off the rip because I think you mentioned in your review, like, the other stuff, unless you have the space for it, it's not super displayable. I think if you want to build your own island and have the real estate to do that, like, great. But for me, I'm like, I want something that's at least decently recognizable. I'm like, that is definitely an Animal uh, Crossing house. And I think I'm going to yeah. get the 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 40 or whatever dollar. Is it Isabel's? Isabel. It's I'm yeah, she's the Isabel house, and then I'm gonna get the boat, but I'm not gonna do the island. I just because I want the I'm gonna get the figs, but I think the only mm-hmm. builds I'm gonna get are like the two reasonably displayable ones for now. Well, speaking yeah. of the figures, I mean, I'm sure you all have discussed the helmet holes on Star Wars and stuff like that. What are you talking over about? And, never over, and over. <laughs> over and over, over and over. We but, don't talk to Ryan ever, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say hi to Ryan. Oh my gosh, uh, but. With the Animal Crossing minifigures, they have accessory holes that honestly, as much with the Star Wars, I don't totally get. They are kind of annoying with uh, Animal Crossing, where like there's one, I think like uh, like two of the characters have one like right here, and it's like is so it for the unicorn cool. head or something? Or uh, no, it wasn't the unicorn. It was um, I forgot. I think it's the uh, Marshall or something. But he has like one right here, and it, it's like so noticeable. It's like you couldn't put this yeah. somewhere hidden. The one on Isabel is good because hers is like the side hidden. So it's like right. That. Yeah. So yeah. I don't even know. in like some of like the friends hair pieces, like they have it, but it's like literally in the back, yes. like directly. That I would, that. I would have preferred. Nook's also, cranny oh. should have been its own set. Yeah. No, I, I <laughs> well, so yeah, when you mentioned like the Nook's cranny was like downsized compared to like what like the ideas mock was, like I don't know if it was last week, but in the last few weeks, I've talked about how I hate that. It seems like in in some cases with certain Lego sets, I I felt this way when when the Up House came out. Like Up was sixty bucks, and it's like man, if they if they just would have went like twenty dollars more, gave it like an eighty dollar budget, it really could have went a long way. It Especially sounds, with like the front yeah. porch, like the front porch was like itty bitty. Yeah. Like you put like one fig there, and like that's it really. But then yeah. it's like you got these other sets that have like this huge budget and they could have maybe lived with a little bit less. So I feel that. Yeah. It's like it's a it, it does sound kind of super unbalanced. weird because, you know, I mean, obviously Lego fan and, and probably rightfully so, we, you know, the price creep and everybody's complaining about that. But there is times where, you know, when something's revealed and all you know is a print, it's mm-hmm. like 80 bucks, let's say you're like, ah. It's not they're not gonna get it done for 80 bucks. It's it's gotta be at least 150 to give it a nice you know what I mean? Like, so the up house, which by the way, I I, I would not things. be shocked if they don't if they don't come back with like a UCS up house. You know, it's I feel like they will. Yeah, I'm so amazed they, they haven't right. done a UCS. I because I thought they were going to do UCS in Kanto house because like they, they are. Mm-hmm. Oh, they are. Oh, okay. you don't you don't know that. Sorry, you're not I, allowed to know that. Oh, well, you, you just you can read, you can read written. No, you're you're allowed to hear about things, right? But you oh, can't you're, you, it's a land joke. <laughs> it's a land joke. It was a land joke. <laughs> <laughs> it was a land joke. <laughs> no, I, I'm actually yeah. really out of date with uh, leaks and stuff. Like y'all got to kind of update me because I haven't. Well, they to the right place. <laughs> well, yeah. I'll tell you what. Like a, a couple of like the known leakers and like the Instagram space have kind of like went a little MIA for. A a, I was. I'm worried about Falcon. I've been assured he's okay, but I'm he is. I talked to him. him. Okay, as long as he's okay. You know. Yep. Say Sarah and, uh, real quick. You just reminded me there. Um, we do want to give a quick shout out to Falcon and Tyler. Tyler's taking some time off too, Sarah. I don't know if oh, you're Tyler's aware of taking Ty- some time off. Oh yeah, my Tyler's God. just taking some time off. Uh, Respect. Falcon. Falcon is uh, taking awesome. some time off. I've talked to both of them. A lot of people ask, you know, what's going on. Good, we'll just good, say good. they're taking some time off. They are like okay though. You know, I just want everyone I'm to know that. Right, I hope right. I'm not betraying it. I don't think any. I don't think either of them said I can't tell people they're okay, but they're okay. Um, and uh, I. I hope, uh, you know, back soon, everybody, you know, so we'll <laughs> I, I should have, yeah, I, I should have taken time off. Like, honestly, like I've to pressure myself to keep releasing videos, like has yeah. really, yeah. my hobby in Lego has decreased recently. If I had to be honest, boys. Yeah. I mean, everybody, everybody needs a little bit. Of, I, I've definitely, I've slowed down. I feel like for the last, like, like, cause we don't always do weekly pickups every week, but for the last like few weekly pickups, like Sean will be like, so Brent, what'd you get? I'll be like, uh, you know, nothing really. <laughs> like, yeah. 
Or like, it's like, I think last week it's like, yeah, I got some like cherry blossoms and then I, <laughs> I got like the butthole tiger for like 25 hey, bucks. It's classic. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the butthole tiger is now a classic. Um, it is a classic. Well, it really like is. <laughs> um, any idea when Tyler will be back? Uh, okay. Could he make a courtesy post? Everyone assumes the worst. Yeah. I mean, guys, look, look, I, all I can do is, uh, you know, we, we are kind of journalists, I would say, Brent. We're, we kind of break news around here, you know. Um, yeah, all I can do for you guys on that is they will make posts and be public if they want to, when they want to. Um, I will do my best to, I, I'm just like you guys. I'm like everybody. I'm a fan of both of them and friends of both of them, you know? So like, I, I, you know, number one is like everybody. Okay. Number two is like, when you coming back, <laughs> you know? Like, yeah. So I'm, I'm needling as well, but I, you know, I think when they're good and ready and, and it could be a if thing, we don't know, but, um, you know, they'll be back hopefully. Cause yeah, it is weird. Uh, you got two constants, especially like Falcon. Like we're lost. I, the, uh, Sarah, last week I said, "What? Uh, where does a man go for uh, leaks nowadays?" Because the Falcon. <laughs> what, where what, will now? we go? I'm, I'm lost. <laughs> no, but honestly, like my mom used to tell me about the leaks and stuff like that, and she's like, "Where are the leaks? I don't. I can't find them." Like the most we got is like what Greek bricks and. Uh, Maybe Michael Bricks forever, but like, yeah, it's getting you know, I miss Falcon, but I understand if you need to take time off, you know, yeah, mental health number one. Yeah, uh, no, I, I, we're, we're, we're trying to, you know, we're, we'll, we'll get through. May, I mean, maybe we'll do it like the the way Lego intended, where we just all get surprised and you know, we hold hands and get surprised at the same time. <laughs> right. <laughs> Shout out know. to uh, Brad Bricklover in the chat. I didn't see his comment earlier. Can't wait to see you at Brick World. There you so, go. Yeah, there's going to be a lot. Brick World's going to yeah. be so hype. And guys, we will have uh, Mark on for uh, you know an extended show uh, somewhat soon to give some Brick World updates. Yeah. And uh, we'll, of course, be letting you know some of the hijinks we're up to. So, Sarah, you probably missed a little bit, but I don't know. But right here on this show, it was announced that Duck Bricks will be battling m and Productions in a rap I did battle. Hear this. I okay. did hear this. I right. did hear this, and I'm excited. I'm so, so excited. You know, I have no I, idea what can that's Ryan, look like. I, I've known Ryan for many years. I've never heard him rap. So I've heard Duck. Here's the thing. Before. Here's what I said. Here's what I said about this. And you know, you know, but <laughs> now I mean, now with Duck, I mean, you guys are are, are definitely you know buds now too. Um, <laughs> I love Duck. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you guys have had a lot of hangs now, but like. <laughs> You know both of them. Like neither one of them wants to lose or likes to lose. Do you no. know what I mean? Like they both are like they both want to be like king, which is what makes this really interesting. Like because yeah. none of them can afford, <laughs> none of them can afford to lose. I mean, Duck could maybe afford to lose, but you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> Ryan can't afford to lose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can, so, uh, yeah. So, so no, being that you're friends with, <laughs> being that you're friends with both of them, Sarah, like who, yeah. who, if you had like gun to your head right this moment, if you had to pick, like based on like okay, maybe I they're mean, not the I, greatest like said, rapper, I, like who would put in the work, like w walk it through, and who do you think would win? And why? I have never heard Ryan rap, so I have to go with Duck. I've heard Duck spit some lines. Oh, so I know Duck see. has some uh, musical talent inside him. So He's I'm sneaky. Duck. Yeah, you see, the duck is see, sneaky. I, I know that Ryan like <laughs> listens to Drake and some other stuff. I could kind of picture him like building up a set and just like quietly spitting bars to himself. <laughs> it's, I mean, he one thing about Ryan, but that's the thing about their Ryan and Duck are alike because they put all of their effort into one thing. So like you know yeah. they'll put all their effort that's into what I'm if, if, their if, mind. If, right. If neither one of them knew how to rap, they had three or four months to learn how to rap. And if they exactly. applied them, that's true. That's probably. True. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so wait, where is this going to be at? Like the, the place where like the fold was performing or whatever they're called. Like I am trying. I am trying. <laughs> uh, we want to have this some opening thing. this concert, Sarah, which I missed last year. I was running around like a moron. Uh, I missed you know, half of it. it so yeah. I'm not the biggest Ninjago. I missed when duck was on uh, right. I mean, stage. yeah. So what I'm working on is I want to see if they and Brick World are up for an opening act, and that yes. might include uh, the 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 Ryan versus Duck battle, and potentially uh, 
your boys here might have some hot fire as well, bro. Oh shit! Like, wait, is this gonna be like, what is that that YouTube wrestle YouTube boxing thing? But instead, it's like rap yeah. battle. It's me and Sean <laughs> are battling before. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, when you when you when you see no, I think if anything, Brent and I will perform something together, not against. Oh, each not other. as you. Okay. No, I see, I see. we're not going to be like the undercard for Duck versus Ryan. <laughs> That's funny though. Yeah. Unless I don't know. Unless. Hey, you see, Brent's it's cooking in Brent's well, I, well, no, not me versus Sean, but like unless there's the unless there's two the others smoke. that want to battle What's it out. The, I, don't I don't. I I love many people. Do you in have Lego beef community. with anyone? I love you too, but what's the beef in the Lego community? What's the beef? Sarah, can I interest well, you in a match? I mean, just just call someone out right now. We'll get you. I'm not calling out. anybody out. What the fudge? No, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> All right, I, uh, we I got the. In the, high school, I used to rap, but that's it. See, that means you still got it. It's it's <laughs> no. like a muscle. You just gotta, you gotta work I'll, out. I'll resurrect the the beef with Brixie and <laughs> yeah. I'll challenge I'll challenge Brixie to a rap battle. Oh my gosh, yes! I got oh gosh, that would be so cool. I gotta hear Brixie spit some. What would be out. funny about like me versus Brixie's, Brixie's, Brixie's? It would be Brent like it'd be like USA battle. versus Can like versus Canada, you know. <laughs> Duck oh, maybe opening through the know. fold. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's that's what, <laughs> that's that's the dream. By the way, I don't think that's going to be a problem as long as everybody's agreeable to it. I think that I all, all due respect to the fold, and I mean that because I heard they killed it, and I know for the Ninjago fans, it was a sick event. I think Duck versus Ryan. I think if you combine those two, that might be too many people trying to cram in there, Sarah. You know, like I, I think. <laughs> No, because you could you could you could run them separately. That's true. And you could fill a venue with either one of. Them. Do you know what I'm saying? Or yeah. we could make it a mega event and put it both in the same thing. Like I don't know. Maybe you should do it maybe separate. But oh like my God. one day. But here's the, but here's the thing: Saturday, a rap battle. Pretty, my my concern yeah. is a rap battle is pretty short. It's usually like. Oh, that's true. I mean, there's other fanfare around it, but it's usually three one minute rounds. So that's uh, each. So that's six minutes. It's like it's a pretty short event. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. right I, anyway i'm like i'm like doing inside mm -hmm. baseball uh <laughs> in front of everybody we'll figure it out but it, it's either way it's gonna be sick whether it's three minutes 30 seconds I, who cares i need I to be there yeah. i need to feel, yeah, it'll be really good. good it'll be very good <laughs> all right i just guys, keep thinking uh, about like the image that you're painting like i can picture ryan like building a set and like rapping along <laughs> with some drake and he's just like he's like putting together a star wars set like last name ever First name, <laughs> yeah. like, rapping some Drake while he's just like building up. Hey guys, in the chat, if you want to see, if you guys want to see Brent do an impression of Ryan rapping quietly to himself, get some dubs in the chat. Let's do it. <laughs> no, he, did, he just kind of did it, actually. All right, uh, let's welcome the legendary Girth Gang to the show. Uh, Sarah, you remember this? It's kind of you know, it's like riding a bike. You'll figure this out again. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get it. them back. Uh, we'll let you pick. Do you want uh, something uh, a little more upbeat and original, or do you want to go with something a little more chill, like feeding the ducks as the background music? What do you? you, you uh, chill. Chill. Let's see. chill. Chill. Yeah. Little ducks. Oh, oh, that's this feels your last time. Okay. Yeah, it's one of, yeah. one of the alternative ones. Sean's not at his typical setup, so I'm not. Oh yeah, Sarah, I have a I have a story of why I'm not at my typical setup. I'll tell you offline. Ooh, Ooh that's a good story. I'm curious. So we got. I haven't worked on my house, but yeah. Anyway, go ahead. We're going way <laughs> back in the pre-play gang. Comment posting that Cooper coming through at one a.m. Ooh, way way earlier today. Uh, the Duke of Earl. <laughs> we got studtastic studios coming through the pre-play gang showing up early and strong cpa coming through representing the pre-play gang we got fabu brick another uh oh and then we got dave brick 76 another channel member in the house we already shouted him out but brick lover brand look at that the lover is here sir the lover that's the freaking lover yeah, I hope always you do that. good to well, say what up to the lover. Lego Timmy coming lover. through. Boba five oh first coming through with that fire content on Instagram. We'd love to see it. Rick Lover Set. Brad. I told we, we should just I, you agree, Sarah, you should just drop everything and just be straight up the lover. Just lover. That would be amazing. I, I, really <laughs> want to I mean we're gonna call him the lover either way. That's and sometimes it, yeah. we're rapping lover depending on the scenario. But... <laughs> the epic <laughs> lover. <laughs> 
fucking lover. What's funny is we got him. We got him to say like, "I'll always be the fuck." He said "fucking lover" like <laughs> when he was really? on. It was awesome. <laughs> when yeah. was this? Oh, I missed it. Well, I'm it was like, a Does while that back. He's like, "Nah, I'm the fucking lover." I'm like, "Yeah." Yeah. Right. We gotta run that back, man. We still gotta. We still got all good. Well. Smoky smokes another channel member. Boda bricks. Big shout out to the channel members here. Eli, what's good? Papa Rex coming through. Another channel member in the house. We got extra bricks. Another channel what member up? in the house. Austiff, what's good? Uh, uh, we got a. He's a moderator and a channel member. Got all the icons next to his name. What's going on, Austiff? We got old broken bricks. Moments of the magic, always great to Over. see moments up in the chat. We got Todd, another channel member, tuning in. Todd Rowe. A proud owner of the six piece, aka the new, the newest, the latest and greatest product from Brickshell, aka the collaboration with MR and ourselves. That new display case looking great. Whitaky, proud owner, proud owner. Uh, we got Oddball tuning in, another channel member. We got Riley. Another channel member. Man, so many of you channel members out here now. It makes me so happy. It brings a smile to my face. It's, it uh, you know, brightens up the soul. You know what I mean? Quarter 66. Absolute legend. Can never not. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, look at that beautiful case. Sarah, you, right saw the, you saw the new case we did with Ryan, I right? I did. I did not know you were involved in that. I yeah. saw Ryan did it. Did Our logo's it. on the side of there, too. You know. That's cool. Okay. I didn't notice that. Oh. Wait, I don't have the pick of the logo, <laughs> but oh, right there. So if you look in the left, it's <gasps> M and R. Kind of see yeah, it. Until now, what the heck? That's amazing. What? I didn't even notice that. It's so cool. Oh my gosh. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got the Fet Twins. It's a newer, newer name I've never seen. Another person begging for Tyler's return. You know. <laughs> It'll be back. It'll be back. <laughs> Tyler, if you're Charlie, listening. another channel everybody's, member. Everybody's ready for you. Yeah. We need you. Pop a trip. I hope Tyler is that for Coral. Anthony. Sean wants to know if his audio is okay. Yeah, Sean, you're good. You're good. All right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Scrolling up to the more recent comments here. We got Chess in the house. Stud, the stud Lake. Feed the ducks. You're damn right. We're feeding the ducks. Jake's Bricks and Picks. Another channel member the in duck. the house. Got a just throwing out the bread you know what i mean throw the bread sir throw, throw, the, ducks. throw the bread to the ducks you know flick. The flick. <laughs> oh, but i think we're finally oh what up matt what up matt the brick fanatic i think we're finally caught up to the recent comments anthony another channel member in the house I think i already shouted Eat him, out. Baby. oh people are reporting their their numbers because uh because sarah this our last case was you know 66 of them this new one is a 250 so people are reporting their numbers all right oh, uh, so papa rex has 71 out of 250 this might be a segment in and of itself but hoarder 66 has number one out of 250 if anybody that's deserves it real. it's hoarder 66. Well oh deserved, too. That's oh rare. and also <laughs> also uh austif coming through with that uh with the update on the countdown 90 days to brick world chicago Oh my God. Literally it's just days. ticking. It's just ticking down June like 14th? crazy. Is it June 14th? I think so. June, like the week of June 10th to the 17th or something. Yeah. I don't know. The 10th is Monday, so like I don't think it really starts to like Tuesday. I don't know. Some people get there up on Monday. I All right, boys, you know, you know the rules, Girth Gang. Uh, <laughs> we, we read as many comments as we could right there. Uh, make a heater comment. It gets pulled up. That's the, that's the deal, you know. That's deal <laughs> that's, that's the story so i want to welcome everybody in officially to the show and now that the girth gang has been welcomed uh we can we can continue the conversation we kind of jumped into some stuff Mario there Mario yeah Mario. we're gonna get it we're gonna get into the main event thing but you know we we, we have to uh do do you know the usual acob hijinks get into some stuff before the main event topic um let's see what could we catch up on um oh, i can't talk to you about that well i can ask you your opinion on this mm -hmm. what because i if you can't comment because of your you know i'll your, let you know your, when i can't comment on your something. relationship I'm, okay okay you know i'm, I'm a lamb but you know i, I know i, I know. You're, you're you're like a you're you're like a, a rebel though kind of a little bit. Um, <laughs> a rebel yeah what you no um okay. <laughs> <laughs> what, 
what what is going on with the like what, I know I know if you had insider knowledge you couldn't say but if you could just like hypothesize like do you feel like things might be getting cracked down on like because uh, the leak game is definitely dried up the last uh, several weeks. Uh, I mean, I haven't kept up. Is Brick Clicker still doing it? Yeah, yeah. Brick Clicker took a break too, but is back, right? I mean, Brick, Brent, <laughs> yeah. like Brick Clicker was gone for maybe two weeks ish, and then leaking like crazy now. So something <laughs> like as long as Brick Clicker is around, I think leaks will live because Brick Clicker seems to be the pulse on leaks besides Falcon fan, but Falcon yeah. fan is not here. So, but I don't I know agree. if like cracking down because like again, Brick Clicker is still around. I feel like people are just getting burned out and out of lego but i don't know i don't know anything about falcon situation that's what i just assumed well, I, there, that's the other thing there's a lot of it and people have said there's no this is interesting there's no money in being a, a leaker you know um i think if you make vids on it or something maybe but i think people that kind of post, of like, what's that <laughs> i'm pretty sure brick clicker's making a lot of money on his videos <laughs> that's what i'm saying so uh, yeah. but but on insta on instagram yes oh, possibly uh, but you yeah, know, I mean, I've heard the revenue is not there, and it's like, all right, why am I going through all this trouble? Like, I don't know this, but I think that could be a factor. Um, maybe certain if I was them, I would have monetized it and just like be brick clicker, yeah. but like faster. <laughs> I, I think, I think like certain, I think maybe certain pipelines might have been shut off. I, I don't know. I've, I by the way, when I check in with, with Falcon, for example, like specific example, I'm just like, are you good? Is everything okay? I'm not asking about the other you know but i'm just hypothesizing like with something cut off with somebody warned it's it, it might be a combination of like everything we're thinking or to your point could just be pure old school burnout you know it, it could be anything brent what do you think's going yeah. on i mean could be that also like i feel like leaks come in like waves mm -hmm. like sometimes there's like so many I think it's dry. one week and then a couple weeks yeah. later it's like there's nothing really going on but it is kind of weird that like because even now and someone did point out last week because because i noticed that promo bricks hadn't posted since like february 15th but they're still like posting things on like articles on their website but not instagram mm -hmm. so it's yeah. i don't know it's it's oh. weird because like if brick clicker still posting youtube videos it's like maybe it's like an instagram thing. i don't know it, there's a lot of possibilities I have something with instagram too yeah i think that could also be a little bit because i know instagram last year they started making it a little bit harder for newer accounts to be found if you search up a tag and you sort by new it only shows the top post by new now that changed oh, okay. in 2023 it used to be that it'll show the most recent post of that tag mm. at new. Mm. now it doesn't do that anymore so finding new leakers is even hard for me because I don't know what to type in to find the leakers because they made it impossible to find the latest post, which was such a stupid move by them and really annoying. But yeah, no, for sure. Um, so I think Instagram is just less popular with newer accounts. I mean, that's it. yeah, that 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 could be a thing too. Uh, Hoarder says, when I saw number one of two fifty, I may have yelled in excitement longer than any grand grown man should. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had video footage of that, man. That would have yeah. been awesome. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Probably, if anyone... I mean, we still don't yeah, know who got Falcon, 60... Maybe Falcon's, you know, flying... Flying, what is it, not south for the... <laughs> I don't know. Like, maybe <laughs> flying south for the winter? <laughs> the yeah, bird analogy. It's not winter anymore, though. I'm trying, to do a, I'm trying to do a bad joke, but, like, the Falcon... Right. <laughs> I mean, you can only leak so much before you go get more water. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I, the failed punt was good. <laughs> oh, man. Um, Biker Bear, who got 25? Yeah, so I, I feel like 25 is definitely the, the heater on that on that cake because um, 25th anniversary. 25th anniversary, 25th yeah. K, yeah. So is – do you think there's going to be a secondhand market for these cases for like number one being like this prize product? Because I don't know, Hoarder. What are you asking for the number one, Hoarder? What are you? Uh, what yeah, are you, you going to flip that bad boy? <laughs> I mean, mine just says sample on it. I don't have a number. Which I don't have mine yet, so I don't know what I'm getting. Ooh, so yeah. the sample version might be rare, Brett. If you get the sample version too, you might. That might be the rare. Yeah, I still don't really know what what's coming in the mail for me. I'm getting something, but I don't know if it's going to be like one of the sample ones or if it's going to be an actual numbered one. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. So Matt so. has a great comment here. I mean, uh, 
leaks are cool and all, but it's way more fun when a set doesn't leak and shows up out of nowhere. The executor last year, yeah, that was I'm awesome. Did shock one. drop? I wonder if you can agree. I mean, yeah. I love, it, like, I love like, shock drops. Yeah, it's so hard because, like, it's you know, I mean, it's my job and kind of like you know, like it's like to avoid these leaks is almost impossible. Like, I wish I could like not have things leak. You know? Yeah. Uh, I no, I get it. And some people get pretty salty about having things spoiled and it's funny because like even when it's like a movie or a show like finale or something and people are like i want everyone to quit talking about it so i can enjoy the internet my way and it's like <laughs> well <laughs> you come on the internet you're gonna you're gonna get leaks and rumors i mean what i do is i just if i don't want something spoiled i'm just i'm off the internet i don't want to make yeah. everybody else's experience shit. or just like at no, least... but there's people who come on and they're like you know I, I, i'll give you an example i don't know like in a star wars forum you know and they'll be like don't tell us don't don't talk about the ending to uh rise of the skywalker or whatever you know and it's like it's like do you know where like, you are right what? now well, yeah, well, I'll just, <laughs> well i'll just pause for you you know it's well like, i do yeah. like those forums will have spoiler tags so at least there's that option that's true but so if you go on no Facebook shit. and like your your high school idiot friend is like, oh my god, it sucked, and this guy died, and you're like, oh, <laughs> yeah. Though it was annoying when I went on my comments in like December 2015, and the top comment was Han Solo was killed by his son Kylo Ren. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that was top weird. comment. It wasn't even when the movie was out. It was like a week so, before. I was I was in New York and I got to see a sneak preview on that. I'm so great. I had nothing spoiled. It was whoa, you got 10, a sneak preview? That's yeah, it was like movie. ten days. It was like ten, and, and it wasn't like a VIP thing. I just I, it's funny. I was moving there. What, the tickets, you know, you know how they will pre-sell tickets for like these major mm -hmm. movies. I want to say it was like ninety days out, and I didn't even know the release date or care. You know, I just saw. <laughs> They'd be on sale, and I knew I'd be living in New York at the time, and so I jumped in the thing and I bought a pair of tickets. And as it was getting closer, I'm like, "Wait, this is December such and such, but my ticker ticket is December whatever." And I was like, "Man, we're getting to see this early for some reason." So <laughs> we did, That's and like <laughs> it was weird. Yeah, it wasn't like this. I knew somebody or a VIP. They just, I don't know, for whatever reason, it was. It, I got to see it like a, I don't know. A, over a week before everybody else so it was, it was pretty wild what? um That's maybe cool. they just want and, and it was weird they didn't ask us what we thought of it i was like is this a test screening like what's happening but, <laughs> you just um, looked down okay yeah that was for force awakens though just to be clear that was the That's cool so wow. I saw, some leaks are good yeah i mean like the whole leak thing is interesting i think like I've always said this. I think as long as Lego can control the narrative, I think they're fine with leaks. Like if they control <laughs> yeah. how the leaks go out, because it is good for business because yeah. think about it. If there's no leaks like day to day, unless you're into like staring at mocks or, I, you know, I, I don't know what reviews. We all know reviews have kind of hit a rough patch. People aren't really into them. What oh, else? What is the conversation about, really, if, the, if yeah. it's not about what's next? Well, and I, I made the comparison, I think, last week or the week before. One of my favorite, you know, current, like, modern-day uh, musical artists is the Kid Leroy, and his stuff always leaks. Always. Right. But it, what's it, crazy it, is, it, like, it, I went to one of his... Really doesn't really leak. It's strategic. Well, that's, that, yeah, that's the whole thing. Like, I went to, I went to one of his shows last year... And one of his songs that wasn't officially out, like snippets of it were leaked everywhere on TikTok and Instagram and all that. And when that song came on, the whole entire crowd is like singing along to it, even though it's unreleased. And then by right. the time it comes out, it still goes crazy because like unreleased. You know, the, the first, well, the first like 40 seconds of it is leaked and then like whatever people take that 40 seconds and like yeah. loop it and make it I, seem like the full song but like it's i, I get it it's so like a like, large appetizer for the real thing you know yeah I, I like i said i can be in both camps i understand that like maybe i don't i don't i don't know i i don't know how anyone is i guess let down i i feel like lego doesn't want things out too far in advance although they do it to themselves they will send land folks sets and you do a review on them three days before 
like I'll give you an example without giving you an example, a specific set. <laughs> but like, I know there's been times where a set will be in hands and reviewed by land members, say February 23rd, but it doesn't come out till April. But meanwhile, like the March 1st release is around the corner and it's like, well, hold on because <laughs> we're supposed to be selling stuff for March 1st. Why is there stuff that's out before for April before March even drops? Do you know what I mean? Like, so I, I, mean, grew up in the sales, like, I grew up in the sales game with a term called SWAT, which is sell what's available today. And I think that's the reason Lego doesn't really love this because if they're like, like if, okay, if a kid was about to buy the $200 R2-D2 and he was headed to the store later that day, and then this leak comes out that there's a $100 version and it's got a special figure in, now he's gonna like, I'll wait for that. Like that's that's the reason they don't want this stuff to get out because it's gonna hurt, right. potentially hurt today's sales. Now, we're all weirdos who are way into it. Does it really affect the normies who actually drive the bus? Probably not. So that's why I'm like, give the hardcore something to talk about. I don't know. That's my yeah. Thought. Shout out to Max really quick coming through with oh, that planet back. girth com uh, <laughs> comment there. Uh, <laughs> what up, Max? We miss you, buddy. Um, TJ coming through with, uh, by the way, shout out to Tej, uh, coming through with this comment here. Leaks are good for discussion and planning purchases, but sometimes I miss wandering into the Lego aisle at a store and spotting something I haven't heard about at all. So yeah, like mm -hmm. I get that. I get that. Um, that's like Brent coming to this show, you know, like every week he's like, oh. I know. Well, <laughs> like I said, man, without Falcon, that was my, my go-to. So it's like I don't really look elsewhere too much for like other Man, stuff. I don't know where like to look. Yeah. I mean, I need yeah. leaks. I need leaks like the desert misses the rain. You know what I mean? <laughs> I need it. I need it. Yeah. Um, right here. But also, Sean likes my raw reactions to things. Sometimes. No, I do. So sometimes, sometimes it turns out to be somebody good. could be surprised around here. They were definitely um, like they revealed the Animal Cross. I mean, this wasn't even leaked, but they revealed the Animal Crossing in like September, which is really weird because that came out in March. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, again, normies don't care even know about the leaks. You know? it's like, <laughs> I, think, I think most people's reaction is like, oh, my God, they made a Polaroid camera? I'm in Barnes. I'm in Nobes. I, I need this Nobes. Polaroid camera. That I'm should be Nobes. like the Nobes. <laughs> but I'm just saying, in the Nobes, like, which is, it's, make, it's making its rounds, by the way, Sarah. We're hearing people, hearing people in other videos saying Nobes now. You know? Yeah, we have. Yeah, um, it's like kind of like, you know? like Box of Boys. Box of Boys is <laughs> a little Box bit. Little bit. <laughs> no, but uh, you know, like I, I think the desired result is, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, Jessica going into Nobes and being like, "This is cute. They made a the Polaroid." <laughs> you know, like, oh my god, so adorable. Classic. So, I mean, Jessica. so you're still gonna get Jessica going the Polaroid, but then meanwhile, dorks like us a month in advance. Like, <laughs> oh, like yeah, right. right. Old news, you know. <laughs> <laughs> dude i saw a meme the other day it was so awesome uh what was it? it was so like dude goes into the lego store he's like it wasn't even a meme it was like an actual video of like the people saying it i don't know if it was he's staged or not but, but, like dude goes into the lego store and the employee's like oh yeah hey, any uh any new projects you're working on or what are you looking for and the dude just goes i know more than you like that's like all he says <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, that what are you working on today? He's like, I know more than you. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like speaking of leaks though, a lot of the times <laughs> they, like I'd go in the Lego store and they'd be like, Yeah, like so have you heard about the UCS Venator that's coming out? And I just want to and I'm just like, Oh yeah, I think I've heard of that. But like in my head, I'm like, I do a whole ass podcast about all the leaks and everything I've known about this, but obviously I'm not going to actually react and be a smart ass and say that. <laughs> so like when I saw that meme, it just resonated with me so much. Cause like, yeah, like when I'd go to the Lego store, it's like, obviously they're used to dealing with just like normies that are just wandering in. It's like to them, obviously, like how are they going to know yeah, what, which like, person's like, a true they die? Mario? They make Mario now? <laughs> It's like, I've known like this. Fucking normies. No, I'm kidding. Normies. They drive the bus. <laughs> hey, listen. They, they drive the bus. No, but I, you know, I, I, I think two things can be true or whatever little catchphrase you want to say. I, I think, like, give the give the nerds a little shot to the veins <laughs> with the leak game and let Jessica stumble upon the Polaroid. <laughs> Is Jessica just, like, the female version of Timmy? Like, people always just... <laughs> 
<laughs> you always just use Timmy like like all the scalpers. Better you gotta leave something for little Timmy. <laughs> I mean, Jessica, I Jessica's fact, like the, I the stereotype for None of us three are dating or married to anybody named Jessica, so that's the name I picked. I'm so. married to a Jennifer. I'm married to a Jennifer, so very close. There nope, you go. But it's not Jessica, so right. <laughs> I feel like Je- Jessica is like the it's like the stereotype, the stereotypical like Starbucks in hand. Like, Whoa, oh my god, Lego makes late. flowers now. <laughs> hey, Hold to on, be fair, Sarah late. is a pretty basic name, so I can't really. So, like, yeah. Stud, I didn't choose stud, the most unique thing out there, but you know it is what it is. Stud Lake, <laughs> I pay ten percent more to shop in the store without input. To, go, oh God, but you, you have to have on this? Are you, are you not a fan <laughs> of the employees? Or you gotta I'll tell have you somebody there. I'll tell nice, you, the, only I, the only thing I don't like is when they and, and I think they mean it as a courtesy, but like when I'm carrying around my stack, they're like, "Can we hold this back here?" I'm like, "You think I'm gonna take off and run? Like, what are we doing here?" <laughs> I think it's, I, I th- but I think it's actually strategic because they're like, if he's carrying around a bunch of stuff, he's probably not going to pick up much else. So, exactly. They need to make it easier for you to pick up more stuff. So yeah. I agree with it, but I wish they would expound on it a bit and say like, hey, let's put your stuff here so that you're you know comfortable or you're free to roam or don't keep your hands full. That can't be comfortable. Why don't you, you know? Right. Well, they nah. don't exactly have shopping carts in there, so. That's they- that's. It's they like they actually do for duck. Did you see that? They brought like a forklift. Oh yeah, they'll bring the dolly out if you're duck. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I mean honestly, kind of, when I when I go there, I literally just I ask them to hold it because I know I'm going to be getting a lot and like running around and I'm just yeah like, yeah. Can you please put it behind the back of the register because I know I buy a lot, so you know. <laughs> yeah. But I haven't had a huge haul in a while. I mean, I even ended up getting that Animal Crossing poly bag off of eBay. Did y'all do March 1st? I mean, I'm sure you did. Yeah, I did. I did. Uh, got some Star oh, Wars you did? Stuff. Oh. Yeah, I got some Star Wars stuff. I got uh, the cranny. Mm-hmm. Interestingly, <laughs> we that last week, uh, the crans, you know. Last, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> last, last week, though, I was traveling for work, and lo and behold, this this super special poly which we already know this happens but the the gift with purchase was the the maple uh, poly bag i'm in i don't even know where i was maybe phoenix and i go to a bricks and minifigs and long story short they had that just what dozens of them yeah just like wow. as a normal poly so i bought two more i'm like i would have freaking well, got one like because well, i, I, paid like I don't feel like a jerk so now let my daughter open the other one <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's like we when we all went into that like random like new toy store in Schaumburg and they what had was like that the, play? yeah oh I forget God. what it was called uh what was it called but they had like uh monkey kid poly bags that was like, so cool there's so many poly bags the store employees oh, didn't that like was, us, that was the <laughs> they had like moment. end caps of just poly yeah, yeah it was cool was so cool that was a top five moment of the trip now Sarah, you were in the car with me and Brent, right? For that, mm-hmm. or no? I think. Yeah. And Sean like, hops out like, "There's Duplo in the window." And Duck, I'm like, I'm like, or maybe "There's Duck Duplo! Was... There's yeah, Duplo!" It was, great. <laughs> yeah, it was like us was three: weird. Ryan, JB, yeah. Tyler. I was we were coming, so for everybody yeah. who hasn't heard this story, uh, a lot of us went to uh, lunch uh, during Brick World offsite. You know, we just would jump in a car. Go, yeah, you know. Yeah, shout out to Portillos. Patios. Patios. Oh my God. Uh, Sarah is, 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 is Sarah's my ride or die with the like. Yes. All right, so we got to try everything. Got to try. The and food. we're yeah. We're, and we're and it's we're scary. headed we're headed back and like just a glimpse of this random plaza. I'm like <laughs> I'm like toy store. Should we jerk the wheel just to see what we got? And as we're sailing by, this is one well, of didn't, those. Wait, didn't you say there was a? It was an old Toys R Us. I think was Ryan that? said that it used to be a yeah, Toys R Us. Yeah, yeah. Was, Ryan like, said it used to be an old Toys R Us, and uh. and I look <laughs> and I can see they had these window clings up, and I'm just like, "There's Duplo! I see a Duplo yeah, block. It's worth a shot." You know? <laughs> and we go in this place, and I and I think all of us thought like, "This is funny. Like they'll have a set or two, whatever." They had a <laughs> flat out proper. Alex's toys. That's what it was. It was yeah, Alex's moment. toys. And, Alex, and yeah. anyway, we go in there, and they had a proper. I mean, what? At least a Target, more than maybe a Target had. Uh, oh yeah, like they had a whole section. Star Wars section and everything. And, yeah. And it was interesting watching everyone run around because Duck goes in there and gets right into like analytical mode. He goes, "Oh my god, they have. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they have." 
<laughs> oh my god! I'm it's sorry. Monkey Kick <laughs> is a Southeastern Asian exclusive. And it's <laughs> and, and he's, not, he's not even on. He's not even on camera. He's like, this is incredible. I can't believe That's they have this. I mean, I'm like, that. I'm like, right. yeah, dude. It, yeah, no, it's right there. He's like, yeah, but you don't understand. This was never even offered in the United States stores. I have no idea. And I'm like, damn, dude. Usually, I'm the one with the impression. So I'm impression I'm I'm like, <laughs> that was good. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Tip, typically, it's me with the impression. Sean's and, coming through. And that's, that's the other part I want everyone to know is like, you know, there, there's no acting going on here. All these people are exactly the same. Like, when we're in a car, we're just excited going to a toy store. We're just excited rolling up on uh, a random Lego store. And that stuff oh, yeah. is just no, um, legit. When I was legit. In- Even if the selection would have been shit, we would have had a good time. But it turned out it's a pretty fire selection. There was. Nope. Yeah. Remember, I ended up with the Jurassic thing, Sarah, they because had, it was retired. They had there too, like some old sets. Yeah, yeah they had they a couple definitely of them. had some retired stuff, and it was all retail. They weren't, you know, spiking prices or anything like that. It was cool. And I think Ryan found like these. I don't. He found like these Star Wars figures that weren't Lego that were rare, but I'm not sure. Something like that. Oh yeah, he's into the uh, the Black Series thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not too familiar with that one. So but yeah, was- anyway, yeah, that that's you know, it, but yeah, I mean that, that was that was definitely a moment, and that's the stuff. Like when we're telling people to go there, it's Stop you know, I, I I hope because this is for me. I, my fear was going to like a brick world. Yes, if you're incredibly into mocks and you want to take a really long lap and really get into the butt of all these things and really see what's going on. Like that's incredible, but really it's the stuff like what we just told you that doesn't necessarily show up on the scoreboard. Like these moments that like you're going to have with people uh, that you just met or that you met online and then you met in person like us um, that really transcend like what the event is really about. It's yes, you're going there for the love of the brick and you want to see the stuff and all that, but like the, the, the pure chaos and personalities and just like weird shit that happens. The extracurricular, I guess, is what I'm saying, is what really yeah. it's where rubber meets the road, I think. Um, yeah. okay, uh, Ale House and, late night that was like the first day that was so much. Oh, it was just there. incredible, yeah. Just, I bring that just up going all the to time, dinner, man. just going to dinner with people and really getting to know them. Like, are you kidding yeah. me? And everybody is like so chill and so accessible and like, yeah, chill so. and normal. And it's like whatever. the legendary part about that Miller's Ale House, like late night dinner, is that <clears throat> it's like to us three, it's it's the lover. Duck, Tyler. I think that's just the just the six yeah. of us. But like, we're all like, you know what? Like, like this one's just for <laughs> us, and like none of you us like po- none of us <laughs> posted really or anything. It's like this this is just for us. Right? This well, is tough I was blind, you know. We, somebody at the table. I don't know who it was. We got there, and Sarah, I don't know if you remember the specific moment. There was like phones Trump. down. This is, somebody called, made the call. They're like phones down. This is just for us. <laughs> Oh, yeah. it, was it may have been me. I don't know the content, and it was like, "Oh, that this is just yeah. for us." And I was like, "That is, that is awesome." You that know? was awesome. What up, Hivester? Uh, shout out to the Hivester, another Brick World, uh, you know, alum. He's gonna be going crazy out there as well. Um, and right. I mean, I, I remember, you know, the the live show there, and I would I crashed it in a way. The surprise. Oh show. yeah, one of the most legendary uh, moments. I mean, that's, yeah. that's, I, if we had a top five, I mean, honestly, there's been some crazy moments. I'd love to hear from the Girth Gang, like some of the <laughs> some of your favorite moments of uh, ACOB history. But like, undoubtedly, top five, top three. I've got it at number one when you showed up. Oh, because stop. there was no because I knew you were on the way. I remember like the show got delayed. There was so much stuff that happened. Like we were we were stuck we were in like out the... a hotel and all this. Remember, I was supposed to we were supposed to come get you, but like the thing yeah, ran wrong. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. Oh and God. so like the show had just started. I'm like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom or so. I made some <laughs> excuse to leave the stream and we showed up with you. And the coolest, the coolest moment, and you guys can see it. Uh, we made a clip of it. Oh, the that's coolest so moment is when you walked in. There was, uh, you did your hello thing, uh, and and everybody. There was we had a live audience. It was only like six people or something, <laughs> but they started chanting "Just Too Good," and it was like. Oh, okay. cool, but that's when like, more, okay, more people like, off in the distance were kind of like. 
and they joined like, in turning too. heads. There was people like... that weren't sitting there that heard it and started chanting it too. And that was yeah. to me one of the raddest moments like ever in the history of this show because it was like it was tense. We're trying to find you did it. You get there and then like organically people start. It became a you know it was I'm like it was like a shock drop like it wasn't leaked yeah. that you were gonna be there it's like no a, i think uh what was it? it was us and what duck no one else knew you were yeah, just did. us and duck i think yeah, yeah. Like maybe, maybe mark ish maybe i maybe. i duck helped fund because uh yeah i sold him the stuff it was because of you guys yeah no i knew i knew that but I, I, like two weeks before i don't think nicole, I nicole didn't point. know right nicole didn't know it was just us Legit. yeah yeah, yeah I didn't. Crazy. I didn't even know I was going until like two weeks before. I was just like, yeah, yeah. That was crazy. Um, so much fun though. So much fun. And so this year's more great world to come. Oh yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Yeah. Um, okay. I want to kick this off. I have Action to. Here. What's up? Ash? I have to run to the uh, to the to the to the. I was about to say potty because I I'm a I'm a dad. <laughs> but I'm gonna run to the. I'm gonna run to the. I'm gonna run to the man's room. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I say potty now. You just yeah, kind of have we to. All say potty go to the You're a dad. <laughs> potty all of a sudden. Um, I got to go do that. I want to kick this off, though, and I'll, I'll be right back. Um, so, Sarah, you're, you're a fan of, of eclectic sets and themes. I know this about you. Uh, there's, there's, there's themes you ride for that are like – that only had three sets, and you're like, I really wish they'd bring it back. So. There are going to be some stuff coming out. I don't know if it's like a one and done thing, but what is some of the stuff that you've seen before Falcon disappeared, for example? <laughs> things like Wicked, things like... Oh, yeah, um, I got... Give me another one. What What are you most stoked on? And I will be right back. Okay. So I start... Okay. Well, Brent, check this out. Okay, Wicked. I have a trinity of three things, besides Animal Crossing, I'm stoked for. And the Zelda. Right, stuff. right. Wicked. Mm -hmm. Uh... Despicable Me 4 and Inside Out 2. These oh, are all okay. upcoming movies that are getting Lego sets. Inside Out 2 yeah. is getting one Lego set, which is like, I think it's going to be, you know, this is just based off of the rumors, but it was, yeah. it said it, it might be like the emotions uh, table or whatever. Have you seen this? Oh, okay. So, like, no. So, <laughs> like a conveyor belt kind of deal? No, it's like a table where they have a button. Oh, it's weird. Okay. Check out Inside Out. It's not a bad movie. It's a good picture. I movie. need to see it still, and like I have two kids, so it's like surprising yeah. that I haven't seen it. But... It's good. It's a really good kids movie. It's a really good kids movie. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they're doing one for Inside Out too. Um, so that's okay. that's the time I'm looking forward to the most. Um, the second would be the Despicable Me four sets. I don't like the Despicable Me movies, but I loved the Minion sets. The Did yeah, you get the Minion yeah. sets. Uh, I think I maybe got one li <laughs> literally only because like I was building something and I needed a couple pieces out of it. So I didn't, I didn't actually build, but I'll tell you what, the the coolest one to me was like the big buildable minion that like opened. Oh, yeah. I love how that it opened and it had like a lab inside and yeah. you could build like one of the three minions, or I think it was like two of three minions you could yeah. choose to build. That yeah, was just I such a cool concept for it, what? like a buildable figure because it wasn't just like a buildable figure well, like you, you imagine if like they, they had if like SpongeBob grogu opened, opened? what's SpongeBob, up sorry. they had a spongebob that opened the same oh way. yeah that yeah. that was during my dark ages unfortunately uh, man if they brought if they brought back any kind of spongebob <gasps> oh man why aren't they doing that did you see that, that they brought back they put cora from avatar legend cora in fortnite <laughs> i know i'm hoping that <laughs> I'm hoping that means something something so i don't it may, again maybe it does. yeah i think it was in a duck bricks video it was in some kind of video i was watching but some someone was you know alluding to the fact that like you know they did lego avatar at one point it was awesome but it was long before like the uh you know the covid boom and like yeah because they still got a second run Basically. Yeah, well, and just just like the technology of like the Lego pieces and building exactly. techniques that are available, it's like it could look they could do those same exact sets now, but like look so much better now. So yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be very interesting. Fortnite, I've I've come back to it a lot. I played it when it first came out and then dropped it forever. But now that like my eight year olds playing, <laughs> like my wife plays, a lot of my friends are playing. So How like is Lego Fortnite. I haven't played so it. I haven't played it. My daughter keeps like tugging my sh shirt sleeve about it. Like, <laughs> when are you going to play? But like, 
to me, it's like I kind of I get the gist. It, it's kind mm. of like Minecraft. Also, I want to say people have compared it to like that Ark game where it's like there's animals running running around and stuff because Ark like survival. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, there exactly. So there is kind of like a survival method to Lego Fortnite, but but no, seeing Avatar. I mean, I know we only have Korra so far, but seeing at least one Avatar figure in Fortnite, I'm I'm hoping, oh, man, I'm okay. really hoping that it means some kind of revival for the theme, at least please, a couple please. sets. I mean, Lego Ideas keeps denying it. You know, it's like, oh, please, yeah, please it's weird, that. it's odd. Well, we'll see yeah. what happens. I mean, the 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 demand. And the hype for it would be there for sure. Exactly. So. Same with SpongeBob. Bring it back. Yeah. Oh, man. Come on, Nickelodeon. We need more Nickelodeon and Lego. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Could you imagine like fairly odd parents and Lego? Yes. That'd be a fun one. Yes. That'd be a fun one. Ash and I did a, a Nickelodeon series way back in like 2018. It was so much fun doing like fairly oh. odd parents. We made it like, like Rugrats and like. Rugrats yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and watch that. Movie. It was like, ah, uh, I, I wish Lego would do this, but it speaking seems like of Ash, does stuff. he? Whoa. Is this a new? Is this a new hair piece on him? Yeah, yeah, that's from a month ago. Yeah. Okay, okay. He just, yeah, he added it very recently. It's the I hair think... piece from Friends. Shout out to Ash. Oh, he's got the gotta... Ross, the Ross going on. We got to no, get Ash friends, back friends, on them. Lego we get Ash oh, okay. back, on the, back on the show. I, we've talked about it. We just got to figure out dates. So busy with all the. Yes pace of keeping up with all the new releases the wall the mountains of sets that need to be built and reviewed so you know i understand yeah so. yeah this isn't so boda brings up a good point it, it is funny in the in the item shop i've i've noticed like there there's quite frankly like like lego sets in the <laughs> item shop that you can really? kind of like buy with v bucks and plop into like your your city or whatever you're building in lego fortnite i've started to see that Cause like typically it's just skins, right? Or like uh -huh. emotes and dances and things or whatever. And I'm like scrolling down and I see like full like Lego buildings in the item shop. I'm like, <laughs> whoa, what is what's going on? All right, let's get Papa Rex says Bluey. Oh, <laughs> Bluey, Bluey is so great. Yeah, Brent, would you buy the whole wave day one? Yes. Oh my god. Yes. Well, they're doing Peppa Pig. <laughs> Give me Bluey. And it's and, but Peppa's gonna be Duplo, no? Or four Yeah, plus. it's gonna be Duplo. See, it's I feel like if they did Bluey, it'd be Duplo. <sighs> yep. But the thing is I though, is like, like four plus. I feel like they'd be I think, Duplo. I think it could be a four plus, yeah. Because Bluey yeah. does have that adult, like there is a really dedicated adult audience for Bluey that like, Dude, it's it. like, like they'd it's have to do. a great show. Show. They'd have to it's go so it. good yeah. like literally every time new episodes drop i i get so pumped like <laughs> <Low key same. laughs> but it, like i'm not even kidding like i will at some point like i'm gonna get a bluey tattoo like it's gonna happen. hell yeah oh my god that would be it's so gonna happen like i'm getting bank like because you know i'm a dad so i would love to get <laughs> bandit i want to get bandit like doing something i don't know and it, but like my wife she's agreed like she's like oh yeah if you get bandit like i'll get the mom chili? like chili like shout out to chili yeah, I'll get the mom on there. The pigs. I agree with that. That would be good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's Bluey's so great. But honestly, like there there's several things they, they could make, you know, into Bluey sets. I mean, obviously you have the house, house. but then you got like the the little like kind of range land rover thing that they Even drive like, around. Like their, their play scenarios will just it would it could be like the the Mickey Mouse line where they have like a yeah. castle. That, and they have like yeah, fire. Even, like I haven't watched Blue, but it's funny how it's grabbed more adults and kids. So here's what happens: dude, it's <laughs> such it's. And, go and ahead, Pixar Sean. used to be, oh. Pixar used to be, and Disney uh, a master of entertaining the parents with some adult overtures during a kid's movie. I like that shit, yeah. Uh, but Bluey is like upped it to another level where it's legit. 50 50 for kids and for parents from what i've seen i mean i I've... but the, the crazy thing about it is my son has been all about it ever since he was like one yeah. like Aww. that's Blue just one of the, the things straight up because we we're all sitting there suffering through coco melon over and over again and then finally you're like <laughs> no no but then you're kind of like there's some comedy here some actual like thoughtful decent yeah comedy, dude I, you know? I always say this line to people when it comes to Coco Melon, I could only take the wheels on the bus so many more times before I was going to jump in front of the bus. <laughs> yeah, like, it's just, 
die. And the thing is, is like there's there's so like Bluey never it, it never annoys me. And like Melon makes me want to end it all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, seriously though, because like so I'll be I'll, I'll be, you know, Henry will be in his room playing or whatever, and I'll be, you know, cleaning up around the house doing dishes or whatever, and and I'll have his like little iPad set up. Sometimes Sometimes I, I just throw Bluey on YouTube just because like they'll have like a two hour straight theme or you two hour straight video. An iPad? Oh my god. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well <laughs> so anyways, he'll like you know, he's two he only just turned two and this this could have been before he was two. Anyways, he'll, you know, grab his iPad and start touching stuff and tapping on the screen. And immediately I can tell when like something else comes on on kids YouTube that's not bluey and like my ears kind of perk up and I'm like, huh? Yeah, you gotta be careful. The, the mood has been ruined. The mood stuff. has been ruined. What's going on? And it's like something else is going on on the iPads. I gotta like grab it and put Bluey back we should, on. We should, <laughs> we should tier rank the the kid shows at some point, Brent. <laughs> Bluey's I give, definitely. I give top Blippy tier. the dub. I give Blippy the dub over Coco Melon. Like anything's better than Coco Melon. The only one I've seen is Bluey. That's it. <laughs> like, no, yeah, Bluey, I mean, like... Bluey's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, it, it didn't. It was crazy is that so like my before my son was born, my daughter had watched Bluey a little, but like she, you know, she probably didn't watch it until she was probably about like five or so. And and so she always had so many different shows in a rotation. So I, I never really fully paid attention. But but once once Coco Melon was able to kind of get kicked to the curb and Bluey came in as far as like what my son's watching. He just he really fixated on it and really loved watching it and so obviously i started watching it more and like it didn't take very long for like me and my wife to realize like <laughs> these plot like these storylines are yeah like they're deep yeah like so many of the adult fan base has been like there are episodes of bluey that will legit make you shed a tear like it's it's ridiculous that hasn't happened to me, but I, you know I... dude i'm telling you what Watch the episode onesies. It's in the it's in the later it's in the new batch of episodes that came out for season three. Chili's sister just oh, you know what's crazy is so he actually you know he's well I I think Sean I think I told you about this but I don't know if I I really shared this on the show but like we went and saw Bluey live in concert and it was it was like not like hand puppets but like giant puppets with like people like dressed in black kind of behind them like puppeteering them what? you know what i mean like oh. giant huge puppets it wasn't people like inside the suits or whatever i think oh, okay that's what I was no there might have been that. people inside the bluey like the bandit and bluey suits but like the kind of other small creatures would be running around and people are, like kind of puppeteering yeah. them around but towards the end of the show they kind of hinted towards a new plot point and we kind of like my wife and I kind of looked at each other like, "Whoa, this is a this is a <laughs> newer episode." I will turn off hockey if my son wants to watch Bluey. I'm not from Canada. Shout out to Macro, but I do. Enjoy <laughs> That's funny. But, Granny well, Mobile well, top five onesies too. All right, the, geez, all right, this is uh, we need to. Dude, get on yeah, it. onesies is a great episode. People are bringing up the Granny Mobile. Yeah, here come the grannies. Dude, it's so funny. <laughs> Uh, oh, Ruth Bay and oh, Thomas is oh, Well, Thomas has its own massive toy line, so that's probably not going to happen. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, I <laughs> let me see. What is? Do, 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 what do we have? All right, let's start transitioning into like the to the new like the main event topic here. Let's, let's stay in the union address. You've been out. You've been outspoken, Sarah, on this. Is Mario really that bad as it is? Are are we just like jaded older folks? And and I know it's not like <laughs> I know it's not designed for us, but like sum it up. Has it been a disappointment? Do you think the kiddos are playing with it more than we think? I think clearance tells us otherwise, but like what, <laughs> uh, they they made a decision. They mm -hmm. decided to go with the digi figs. They went that route. They have stayed hard and firm. Uh for for <laughs> What is it? Three years? When did this drop? Twenty twenty? I feel like somewhere in there. What? Yeah, I think twenty twenty. Yeah. Three years? Four uh, years? Uh, assess, assess Mario to date, please. Like, give me your full the state rundown. of Lego Mario. The state, the state of, of Lego, Lego Mario. Mario, right, right now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Disaster? Good? Decent? Like, give it to me. Come on. Okay. 
like I don't know. Like I always say this, but it's it doesn't it, like when you think of Lego Mario, you don't think of what they've done so far with their main line, right? And like, just think they've done the most. I mean, yeah, they're you're building with bricks, but like it's just you wouldn't make Star Wars just buildable figures in large scale models, right? You wouldn't make Marvel just buildable figures in large scale models, right? Like, why does Lego Mario have this as its regulation? It doesn't make any sense. And then people keep telling me, you got to stop talking about it. Like, you just keep talking about it. But, like, look, there's one thing I've wanted my whole life more than anything from Lego, and that's Lego Mario minifigures. Ever yeah. since I was, like, three. That's a, that's a reasonable request. I don't think that's, right? like, out of line. Right? No. In well, like because... <clears throat> no, Brent, what were you going to say? No, no I was just... The, like, like, when you... If we... The Lego whole Lego Mario minifigures thing. I mean, there's just the possibilities are endless. I mean, like you have things like Smash Bros. to where you could create such a cool scene. Exactly. Of all these different Mario minifigures, and I mean, and this crazy thing about like Animal Crossing is like there's some similar similarities with Animal Crossing and Mario in terms of like, well, it quite frankly uses some of those kind of same like course builder pieces, but except they got the minifigure part of it. And so, yeah, you know, like you... that, that the, the Animal Crossing line, as I said earlier, captures the essence of the gameplay of the game so well. Mm. And they didn't compromise and make an electronic figure. Yeah. Why can't we just capture the essence of the game of Mario, but not go the electronic figure out and capture yeah. the essence of Lego, you know? Yeah. 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 Instead, we just capture the essence of Mario. Yeah. And I don't really get <laughs> the feeling of a Lego license theme. Like, yeah. It's unlike any other the Lego license. of the Steve. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, even, so, even when mean, we got I mean, like, yeah. like Peach's castle, it's like, it's not good. We hear about it and we're like, this is going to be great. And yes. then we see it and it's like Let this down. like separated no, thing. And yeah. so freaking lame. And then they're mm -hmm. remaking it a crappier version. That's cheaper. Like, okay. It's smaller. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, whatever like i literally have no hype and then like what also annoys me is they just do random shit that isn't even from the games like mm. i don't know like what goomba's tree house is an upcoming summer set there's never been a goomba's tree house in any game why yeah. are there two mario houses and the second mario house isn't like any mario house in any game like yeah why like it's what is the point of this being a mario license like i don't get it like it's just mm. like this could be any theme at this point yeah like, yeah but what's like what's crazy is like, like if we they're not giving up though i'll give them that they keep yeah. trying they keep trying they keep pumping out like, these they didn't want to admit that they failed maybe that's well that it. and it's probably yeah. contractual right it's contractual yeah. obviously well it's like it's like nintendo um is agreeing that they know like minifigures would sell more but they just want it to be unique and they're satisfied with how it's selling now which i think if you put anything with mario and lego in the title it's going to sell so I think that's why this theme's still surviving, but it could sell. Rune, some well, this and Rune brings up a great point. So I guess for like this crowd, whatever this crowd is, <laughs> they every once in a while will drop a heater like the airship. Um, I think one per other one. Let's let's get into it. The train that I just showed Brent. He didn't see. Uh, this was revealed mm. this past Ooh. week. This yeah. is, but I, I know, I know it's not great, Sarah, but it's, it's, no, a I actually story. don't, I, I, I like it a little bit. Oh, you're, I like you're kind of like, eh, but like, oh, I like it a little, like a little bit, bit. <laughs> like, but, but, but this is one of maybe like a handful of displayable sets. And I think that's kind of the issue is they, they, they really leaned into the gamification, which like, I think a lot of us let that go. You know, even with the fig thing, I even let it go. I'm like, all right, they're going with this route. We're not getting figs. Okay. <laughs> but then it was just like this course builder. And I know besides Duck, like, I don't know. I'm sorry. Besides <laughs> Duck, like, who on earth is going to have all of these courses? And I remember even by the end of year one, somebody made a viral video. And it wasn't, you know, any any of like I think sort of regular Lego YouTuber just made a viral video of, of designing a course and it was like getting millions of views and it was already like so stupidly obscenely big yeah. a footprint to like, and they're sitting there trying to sell it. And I think that's the other thing is like my daughter, I bought the first, I bought Mario Luigi handful of the little course things just as a way to connect with her and like, I love it too and whatever. And like she did jump, jump, jump. 
and was bored within 30 seconds. So that's the other thing is like the game yeah. mechanic, the game mechanics aren't evergreen either because kids have been exposed to so much more cooler shit, namely iPads. My daughter would rather have an iPad than anything else. And so it's like, or play the actual Mario game or play the actual Mario game. So it's like, it when it's sense. not for collectors and then it's, I know it's supposed to be for kids, but I'm telling you, it's not having the desire uh, one of one sample size. But I'd imagine again, yeah, I think I think it's 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 selling it's well enough to because game, it has right. Lego and yeah. Super Mario in it, and parents will buy their kids Lego Super Mario, whatever, and kids will buy that. But you're so right, this game has no lasting power. We're just getting deeper into it. Rumor has it, summer we're gonna get three new figures, which are just updates of the existing ones: Mario, Peach, and Luigi. Yeah, like. Can we please stop with this BS? Like, yeah, uh, it, like I would my, though, like, if you're looking to get into the theme though, Sarah, this this is this is a great way to cop a bunch of really. Cool this is cool. It's kind of like a box of boys, kind of like yeah, a like battle a pack. Box of boys. Well, right, I like you. it. <laughs> box, <laughs> box of boys. <laughs> I but like yeah no I mean no one's dissing this set I think this set's fantastic but it's like mm -hmm. it's I don't want to say too little too late but it's kind of too little too late for a lot of people because. Mm -hmm. It's just not what, when you heard, it's like this. If you had to play a movie in your mind, Brent, of what, uh, when you hear Lego Mario's coming, let's rewind three or four years ago. What are you, what are you thinking you're going to get? Everybody's thinking the same thing. Uh, like what, like either you got like Peach's castle all built up looking beautiful or mm -hmm. like uh what what's give uh, us a $200 oh. like they did with Frozen and, give me a and you thought and you thought mini figs and you thought mini figs yes mini figs or even no, like there, you know, give me the my, my mind goes the, to like Super Mario 64 yeah. like the yeah yeah jump into the pictures right that whole thing that's what we want yeah. hell they could even do a 120 make it the size of the Peach's castle like make it the the value of the Peach's Castle we got, but since it's minifigure scale, it could be a bigger size, and like they could yeah. get more of a value if it was minifigure scale. I yeah. think. Now I will say that like, but th this is the interesting thing though is you would you would think that like Lego would look at the the analytics of which ones are selling because I think without a doubt, if you're gonna look at the the Lego Mario sets that are selling the most, like it's the entertainment system, uh, maybe like the big buildable Bowser. Uh, you could question probably say block. like about, question I was about block. to say question block as well. You could probably put in there it, more recently, the piranha, piranha plant. plant, it was on back, back order, like almost instantaneously. Um, so like that type of stuff, it's, but it's like, it's like none of these course builders are really going like on back order. Here's like where my business quickly. brain goes on this. And I would bet a large sum of money. Number one, they already have an agreement with another action figure brand and you guys have seen it when the mario movie came out yeah yeah uh they had and even before then there's just the, in target if you go to target they always have a little three inch mario i think they had a deal in right. place i think that mm -hmm. that hurt the mini figure I, and i know people are like oh star wars you know i uh, can't do cmfs because no those things are real like i think those things are you don't think well, lego they realizes they can't make, if, if lego could make a star wars cmf i think they absolutely would they just can't because there's there's contractual agreements of selling standalone I mean, also, it seems like they're selling standalone figures i mean they have the cmf series i mean it wasn't a cmf series but it was a collectible figure series who uh mario Right, but they were they were brick built, right? I'm talking brick about built. like what could be considered an action figure, right? Like I know that many many. I'm just saying for whatever reason, the likeness in a minifigure cannot happen. I I I, I don't think Lego is that dumb, and I don't think Nintendo is oh, that no, dumb yeah. to not to not give the people what they want. I think I they think were handcuffed and they made something happen. That's number one. Number two is Nintendo, and this is something a lot of people haven't talked about, but Nintendo. And Lego are actually pretty fierce rivals. That's why it's like a miracle that this came together because Lego is supposed to, even though they dip their toe unsuccessfully in technology all the time, Lego is supposed to be anti kids staring at a screen all day. And Nintendo is like, well, you know, Lego is like the biggest toy manufacturer in the world. We shouldn't exactly buddy buddy with them. We're trying to get kids off these analog toys and into the digital world. And I, I think these figures were actually a compromise where they're like, 
well, there's a little bit of, there's still some digital here. And, you know, and, and then for Lego, they're like, well, we're still going to, you're still going to have to build them. You know, you're still going to have, you know what I mean? There's like, this is when you split some DNA and you get like a, a fucking wolf bear or something. Fusion. When you put them, when you put them together, it's just not a great. Memorization. If you like. And you these, yeah. And these two companies are the most weirdo companies ever with oh, yeah. their, the way they do stuff. They definitely march to their own beat. And they're very successful rules. for that, but both of them make really oddball decisions. And when you mix the oil and water of those two together, like this is kind of the result you get. That's, That's what like, I think really happened. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I'm more with reason too. Um, I think, don't think it's a contractual agreement. Like, I don't think it's it, contractual. You I think it was it's very different. intentional. It had to be digi figs. Yeah, I think it's just Nintendo's weird, like, oh, we don't want to put minifigures out. We want something new and revolutionary that's different. Yeah. Which, you know, has worked to their advantage before with stuff like the Wii. You know, it was something weird. The and Switch. Crazy. Yeah, I mean. The Switch, and it worked out. But I don't think, I think this is a total failure, the stupid Lego Mario stuff. And uh, I, it's obvious, it's, I, I know it's going to last because I love Mario. But one thing about the Mario community is that they don't, they'll eat anything that's Mario up. So like they're very bad with critique the Mario community. So I mean, but if you look at it from Nintendo's perspective again, like what's going to drive more sales? It's like, okay, so you're a big Mario collector. You've already gotten figures from all over the place. If you put figures in this, that's not going to draw it will and it won't, but like for a Mario collector, it's like, well, we already have figures. And, and quite frankly, they're better looking and more accurate than what many <laughs> figures could ever be. What could we well, that's, do? That's that why I like the, the fact that there's so, but this still runs on figures because it still runs on the idea of a, an electronic figure and a buildable figure. It's like, no, I'm talking about, figure. I'm talking about for, for Nintendo, they probably viewed it, they probably viewed it as we don't need many figures to make this work. You know what I mean? Like, cause they're like, well, we've already gotten, we've already got partnerships and deals oh, with other great figure manufacturers out there. Like, yeah, makes sense. and so like, you know, what can we do different with Lego that'll open makes up? Makes sense that they would think that. I don't think it makes yeah. sense. I'm not saying that's the reality, that. yeah. but that's what, that's where they're, no, that's you're probably where, right. yeah, you're probably that's right. where their head was at. I, I, I don't, I don't know that it's, you know, yeah, you're um, probably right. <laughs> you know, Brent, had, Brent had to run to the potty as well. So, um. well, with this set, I do like that this is something from Mario. Like this is from Super Mario 3D World, so it's not a random thing they just made up on the spot, which has been pissing me off with the Mario line as well. Um, it gives me some vibes of the Toy Story train. You know, maybe because it is the licensed train and the theme that you don't expect the train from. Yeah, yeah, I get some vibes of that. What do you was think? this also an Odyssey too? Wasn't there a train from Odyssey that was like this or no? I don't know. Was there a train? I don't remember a train in Odyssey, but maybe you're right. It's been a while since I played Odyssey. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Um, but the other... I was going to yeah. say the other the other sets that were revealed, I don't like. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to see if I can find those. Are they on there? There you go. And then like right off the bat, right? So this is recommended. It's not necessarily bestseller. And it's, it is probably no rhyme or reason, but we have gotten some gems. Uh, the Piranha mm -hmm. Plant and the Bio Bowser car, car both. I like the Bowser car. They're both heaters to me. Like, I think they're great. Like, I like Yeah. Them. Oh, well, that's another thing is they announced that there's going to be Mario Kart. So it's like these electronic figures aren't ending, you know? So like. What are they going to even do with Mar Lego Mario Kart? You know, like, are is every set going to be an electronic figure? <laughs> like, no, and that's what <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll we'll get into that. But I, I don't think that's possible, right? I mean, right? <laughs> unless they, unless they, only make vehicles for Mario, Luigi, and Peach. Because what else? If if you, <laughs> those are the only ones that that have the digital figures, right? That's what I'm saying. Will they will they have to do like okay? Here's the toad cart. The this right cart. here is the prototype for what you know. I want to get into tonight. Like, what else can they do? Will will they brick build everybody else? Because you're not getting uh, 
You're not getting a. I, I mean, you're not going to get like a daisy. They're not going to make a daisy. Like, who's the next tier after these three? Would you say, Sarah? Like, yeah, as far as I mean, that, four. Actually, Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Bowser. Right, and then who's who's Bowser the next Bowser. tier? And who's the next tier? And would they ever make digi figures of them? Toad. Yeah, like Toad. Toad would Yoshi? sit on shelves for the rest of time. <laughs> like, would buy not, Toad. I no, always pick I'd Shy work. Guy when I play Mario Kart, so I'm Same. hoping for like a Shy Guy kind of Mario Kart build. All right, so let's get into Mario Kart. We're, we're leaping into the main event. So, Brent, the question is, so so based on the tease, they showed the Mario Digifig next to the Mario Kart logo, which makes everybody, rightfully so, assume they're just going to shove Mario, the current Mario fig, into the Mario Kart line. Mm-hmm. My question is, when you get past Mario, Luigi, and Peach – what's going to happen then? Are they only going to make cars for them? I suppose they could. Yeah. They could make two or three cars for each of them, and then you keep changing the figs out. Or are they going to do the smart thing and make more of these brick-built ones in addition to yeah. the digifigs? And I think it'll be the latter. I think you could absolutely get a Shy Guy $30 car, and then this becomes like, I don't know, let's, let's open it up. Do we want this to be like a, a Speed Champs type scenario, Brent, where <laughs> there's if, if it's if it's not the digi fig that goes in there, do you want to see other brick built characters? I mean, Sean, you know just as well as anyone else. I love I love the thirty dollar price point. So <laughs> you do, you do. So um, no, I think I mean yeah, like I would like. I mean, like I said, I always pick shy guy when I play. Uh, <laughs> shy guy is my go to in Mario Maybe. Party as well. Like I'm a shy uh-huh. guy in Mario Party. I'm shy guy in Mario Kart. So I'd like to see a little uh. Like shy guy build kind of come out of that. Oh, it Wario is. Would be great. Oh, Wario. I would. Oh, I would day Wario. one buy a, a Wario Digifig. Day one, instant. Yeah. Wario I is mean, my go-to in like Mario Party and in Smash. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. No, but here, here's <laughs> the Wario. thing. I, I missed a big one that could have been just after them. DK. They didn't even make a Digifig of. So, yeah. like, if that's the line, like Bowser. <laughs> okay. Who yeah. else would realistically sell? Uh, I think I think a, a a Donkey Kong would be okay. Might even outsell a, a Peach and Luigi in some scenarios. Wario probably wouldn't, but it would it, actually it would probably sell pretty good, but not to the level of Mario and Luigi. And then Waluigi would be interesting, but they're not going to make digis of all these. They're just not. Yeah, yeah, right. Nintendo does not really care about Wario and Waluigi, especially Waluigi. Which is unfortunate because I wish yeah. you know I wish Waluigi would be a fighter in Smash. I wish Wario would be in like so much more Mario stuff, but they never include them in anything unless it's their own Wario where game. And Waluigi just never gets. Oh yeah, are we get are we Shoot. we catch it up on these real quick, Sean? Because I feel like yeah, we've we'll got catch some... up on them too. But go ahead and get this one. Bespin Ricks coming through, brand new channel member, the Girk Gang. Just got girthier. Shout out to Bestman Bricks for growing the infamous, the legendary viewers of this podcast slash show, The Girth Gang. Bestman Bricks, thank you so much for joining in. We got Austin coming through with the update on the countdown till Brick World Chicago. I can't believe it's only 90 days. Time is flying by. Thank you so much for the update. Then we got the very first channel member ever, King Oldendorf. Welcome on in. Coming through with those two pounds, right? Am I saying the right currency? Okay, yes, two yeah. pounds. Thank you so much, KO, coming through. And then we got Ostiff coming through. Five more likes to get Sean to do a handstand with the Coors. What is that? Uh, thank like, you so much, Ostiff, coming through with that 199. What is a handstand? <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, two, two bucks for me to risk my life? Is that what it's worth to you, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were friends here. I mean, I... <laughs> oh so, god, uh, yeah. How did we forget? Oh, Yoshi. But again, I know Yoshi's. Already... No, definite. but they've already made seven hundred Yoshi buildables. So, like, what are yeah. we doing here? Like, we even I... get baby Yoshi. Right. Yeah. So I think, like, you know, so my prediction based on that is, if they haven't made, if they didn't make Yoshi, they didn't make Donkey Kong. They didn't make Wario. Like, I bet those are maybe the top six most popular. I, I don't know. My point is, like, they're going to have to do brick build. They're just going to. Yeah. yeah. Makes so. me sad, but. <laughs> I am a gymnastics legend. Let's keep that quiet. Man. Now, I got, I'll got. i say this, too. Now, this would drive up the cost a little bit more. Uh-oh. But 
you know, we got that new sound brick now. <gasps> How cool would it be to have that sound brick in a Mario Kart cart? And like you can have like the finish line crossing sound effect where it's like <laughs> or like the uh like the you know when you get a star and it's like dun, 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 I feel like, like they'll, they'll do it with the figures. Like at least the figures will be making those sounds. Right, right, true, true. Make it true. The update. So yeah. But yeah, like the leak said that we're gonna be getting three new ish issues of uh Luigi, Peach, and Mario, which will have like a USB charging connection this time around. Oh, so it's like, okay, easier to charge it, but Brent really is cooking. Cool. Brent is cooking on this topic. Uh, I do be <laughs> cooking sometimes. You, you think they throw something. a portion of the track in each one that, that love that idea. That like, if you want to get rainbow road, Sarah, could you imagine rainbow road? Yeah. With each, oh. You have to get all 10 to complete the rainbow road. Or whatever. It is a road it now, is by the way, road. I'm thinking about this out loud. So this is 30. Do they bump it to 60 and do what we said? Because remember, these little starter packs are 60 mar retail, right? Mario and Luigi, they're all 59 dollars They're all bullshit <laughs> parts and stuff that come with them. Now imagine they go, we've been doing it all wrong. The people love the figures. They don't want this other pointless side build starter pack. Why don't we do a Digi with the vehicle? And could they get that done for they can get it done for 60. I just feel like the collectability drops though when you get over like 40 but like you know what I mean? Like let's say, let, let's say they make 10 cars. My dream scenario is they give us like 10 cars to this scale of Bowser, right? So that you can do a fake race or whatever it is they want us to I don't do. even want that because I just I don't like these figure sizes. So I don't really care. That's fine, yeah. but like yeah. You know, if you're wanting to collect them all, there's got to be, which, by the way, Lego never adheres to that. Brent, with the newest F1 releases, they're all in six different scales. They don't necessarily. What? Have, right? I'm just, I'm just well, saying. Well, what's like, crazy oh, is, like, I funny. even, <clears throat> they have that, like, Technic F1 set, but it's almost in the same size as a Speed Champs box to the point where it's the there's, like, price, a. Brent, and it's a pullback. Yeah, well, because the thing is, is like I I went into my Walmart recently and they have like a like a Speed Champs end cap display and it's like all Speed Champs, but then there's like an F1 Technic set in there and I'm like looking through and I'm like, hang on, what's this doing here? But it's like this is the same size box and everything, so it fits it like right in. So F1 Technic. Brick Hive with the comment of the night: This Mario theme would be great if it didn't suck. So <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. You're not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Sarah, you're CEO of, right. of Lego tomorrow. Finally, what yes. are you doing? You, you, you've been told you get Mario Kart. What are you? What are you doing? Uh, I know figs are a thing. You can throw that in there, but let, let's whatever figs. you do, whatever you want. It's your sandbox. What would you do? What would the price points be? How would you lay it out? All right. If I was a CEO of Nintendo and I was going to do Mario Kart, okay. First off, yes, they would be minifigures. Second off. They would be like, they don't even have to be $25 speed champion size. Like they could be, cause the carts aren't like full cars. So like, That's true. It, I would have just done like a Lego stunt style where they had those $8 Lego mm. stunt sets. Ah, mm. okay. Maybe make them 15 bucks or something. A little yeah, bit more. You're not going to do eight, right? With the idea. Exactly. Do eight bucks. Yeah. 15 bucks. Mini Shout figure. Out rest in peace to stunts, by the way. Nobody said that word in three years. Oh, wow. So. Yeah. I forgot about stunts. <laughs> Nobody thought about stunts except me. <laughs> but yeah, I, I did I, like stunts the were fun for 15 minutes. minutes. Go on. Yeah. yeah, I like the collectability of those small stunt sets. And I think they could use that idea with the Lego Mario Kart line and give us a little small end cap thing that you just buy and you get the character you want. That's As Sean likes to say, the target toss. The hey, I like it. Yeah, exactly. Target toss. <laughs> it's, it's, not about, it's not gonna it's not gonna hurt you. You just a little, little target toss. No That's like poly bags for me nowadays. Like those exactly. are tosses, yeah. But like back in the day they used to also have do you guys remember the impulse sets, which were like these small square boxes? No. Um impulse sets. Oh, kind of like oh. this size. Yes, about half of that size though. But yeah, or even smaller. Or, yeah, almost yeah. like the stunts boxes. Even I yeah. miss those so much because they were yeah. just small little you know target tosses. You just buy them last minute and bam. Yeah, I wish Lego could deliver on a cheap like thing like that. But yeah, I mean we had the buildable Lego Mario figures, but that went the wayside. So who knows? Yeah. 
So yeah, yeah I would make it minifigure scale and cheap. <laughs> this is great. I, Anthony says we need to get a currency legend for Brent. I know I'm always <laughs> unsure. I'm like, is this pounds? Is this pesos? <laughs> what is this? Good night, Whitaky. Whitaky deals in He's pounds. Out. He could he could he could teach you about that. <laughs> All right, go go on, go on, Sarah. I'm sorry to interrupt. I think but... I, I I think I've said my piece is basically, you know, I wish they would be half this price, minifigure scale impulse buys. Yeah, and you get a bunch of them. You know, they, they, they like stunts. There'd be a big track mm -hmm. set. You could get more characters in there. It's, yeah, it's just that easy. I mean, it's like truthfully, I like the idea of that too because, like, I mean, like City always has like a ten dollar like police car or something yeah. like that. Well, there's and, a like, two pack kind of, of uh, go karts. It's a fi it's a fire set actually. Exactly. It's on, yeah. Well, it's, it's like usually like box. this size. This That's is almost impulse. like the ten dollar yeah. box size. You know what yeah. I mean? Even though this is an old set, yes, but like the like ten dollar box size. Like it would be so cool on shelves almost like the mech boxes i guess the mech boxes are bigger now because they're like 17 dollars now hey Brent, but rip like that open right now rip it open oh <laughs> no nah, you can't <laughs> there's a thumb tab there uh no this is like childhood set man i can't i can't that's do that. fair that's fair <laughs> but i tried guys i tried he's held that set up 87 times I'm like now like damn, this one i'll tell you what Th oh. This one I bought and I thought it was sealed, but it actually wasn't. So this one technically. Full screen. Oh, Ooh, uh, let's, let's get a peek under that blouse. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> yeah, you guys can see. A peek <laughs> under that blouse. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> this old school Lego door Ooh, right here. Oh, I love that. Uh, I think I read wow. that like my freshman year. Of More arousing than I thought it would be. This is crazy. <laughs> oh, dude, like you got some. <laughs> You guys, you guys remember the the old school, the old school guns? Yeah, or blasters. I'm gun. sorry, <laughs> can't say guns in Star Wars in the same sense. Oh, but really? yeah, you know, just oh, I don't the, know what that's about. Uh -oh. The classic, the classic Qui Gon Jinn with the chrome <sighs> lightsaber hilt. And look at the color of that green blade too. This that's is before, so the, way before they were frosted. Wait, hold on. Chrome... Let me... Hilts, yellow I used to skin tone, hilt were like uh, the frick. I, I used to pretend those were soda cans for my minifigures. Yeah, I don't know why. come on, <laughs> focus. Come. No, oh, oh well, are not focusing. Come on, <laughs> focus. you can do it. Focus. focus, all right. Anyway, it's a yellow faced Qui Gon. We get it. <laughs> I tried. Uh, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes that webcam does it. So yeah, Brent, technically. If you, build, if you want to build off of, if you want to build, so to speak, off of what uh, Sarah was saying, what what do you what do you think is going to be? Oh, classic Lego club. In reality, I, I feel like this is a nice blueprint. This car was this this Bowser car is not by mistake. I don't think. You don't right, think? right, right. It's kind of like the Nebulon B frigate. They kind of laid the blueprint for this new line that they're doing with Star Wars, and I feel I like they're doing it. They're doing it here with with this one. Sarah says they might be smaller, and I I, I tend to. I agree. want them to be smaller, but I don't know. I I, don't I, I, te I tend to agree. I I think that would be like it would make sense, but classic. But that I'm would sorry, mean I'm seeing you're this getting minifigures, and I. But like think of the reality, if we don't get minifigures, they can't be a ten or fifteen dollar set. No, sure. yeah. If if we don't get minifigures, best we'll get is twenty five. I think you'll get some carts that are cheaper than this just slightly. Like Mario's main Mario Kart is like not the girth, for lack of a better word, of like Bowser's car here. Like it would probably require like a hundred less pieces than Mario. We car prefer car. the term girth to be substituted for pretty much any word around. Here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like I. I'm definitely it depends on the like, size of the car. Beard of bricks, you're absolutely right. Like in in game, yeah. right mm -hmm. in game, the the vehicles do scale differently. Like I I don't think it's crazy that Bowser's car is thirty bucks, and you know, could you figure out a Daisy, for example, for twenty because she's got a more dainty vehicle? Yeah. Or so, <laughs> even like okay, think, I, I like the idea of this too. So so. I Shout like the idea. Dainty. I haven't said that in 89 years. Dainty. Okay. <laughs> like I, I, I'm definitely in the camp. Like I, I agree with like you know the eight to ten ish dollar price point. But like you know, sure Bowser could be 
bigger, but almost think about it from like a uh, like a brickheads uh, style of set. Like you could, if if you had characters that weren't as popular, right? Like everybody wants Mario and like. You know, oh, the four, four pack. I like that. That's what I'm saying. You could do like a yeah. three or four pack. If, if if you're worried that even though I love Shy Guy, Shy Guy might not sell super well on its own. But if you had like, like a three like pack or a four okay. pack, yeah. you get like Shy Guy. You could throw in, you know, whatever else. And it's like Shy Guy. Like, I love maybe. Daisy, but Daisy's not going to be popular. Daisy, yeah, no, exactly. So you could no, do your Shy Guy, sense. your Daisy. You, you anchor it. No, you're right. You could do a mm-hmm. Shy Guy, a Koopa Troopa. Mm-hmm. And then, what? and then a little Wario. dry bones, little dry bones in there. A little dribes. Oh, I love dribes. Dribes. There are dribes. <laughs> yeah, dribes. Yeah. But dry uh, bones. The thing with uh, like, okay. there are some weird things though, because like they can't do, uh, <laughs> they can't do like a. <laughs> Sarah's laughing. Sarah, have you heard about the legend of human Java yet? No. Wait, what? <laughs> that's another. That's another thing you've missed. <laughs> I missed this. Wait, what? <laughs> we 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 here at the Girth Gang have been petitioning for a human Jabba figure. <laughs> yes, we please. want it. We want that it for May fourth. Cool. That was twenty six. I don't think we're gonna get that, it. Like they're never gonna do. So like, uh, abbrevi- like you're talking abbrevi- about the, the OG, like canceled, uh, not canceled, but they cut deleted the scene. scene. Yeah, yes. so deleted scene. Yes. So we're like, I'm, I'm like, I'm for this campaign. I'm you so know, would be a heater is if yes. you made a human job, and they everyone's do that. look. We got HJ's. We I got HJ's do... in the chat right now for you. Legit. HJ, HJ, HJ. like uh, they Even jobs. <laughs> you know, I'm yeah. telling you, like we're gonna we're gonna deliver on this one day. We will have Lego needs to give us an HJ so bad. Right <laughs> yeah, <can> we... <laughs> <laughs> that. I mean, if they're gonna give us Aunt Beru, at least they can do is give us an HJ. We have a we have a movement Lego, going, Sarah. Sarah, look at this movement. <laughs> Justin for human Java. I mean, like, yes, come on. Justice for human Java. Come on. Clip it. HJ. Was... HJ. I mean, human <laughs> jobs. <laughs> it's true. I'm saying human jobs, but hume jobs might even work. <laughs> Huge job. Yes. But no, it's crazy because in that deleted scene, Han literally goes, All right. Yeah. He's like, Job. I don't know about loner sure. yet. Don't they like Where? edit the digitally like Han's head? They do. And they, they make it, he walks around him and he, they make they... it look like he goes over his tail. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah. Yeah. There's, an, there's another one. Uh... HJ BWP. Yes. We need it. Yes. We've paid them enough for an HJ. I agree. Come on. I know we deserve an HJ. Ugh. Sarah, can like, you figure out what a loner is? Oh <laughs> yeah, I keep seeing this loner thing. What's that about? Oh, we, that's another thing we rattled off. Well, so when <laughs> you know you get really excited and you combine it with Lego, it gives you a ah! Sean came up with it. I had no part of it. <laughs> <laughs> I had no part of it. Yes. All right. I love this. Okay. okay. I want... <laughs> All right. Let's get I'm not going to use that one. <laughs> Giving me a loner. Uh, Gosh. You all are so fucking crazy. Oh, my God. All right. A <laughs> loner. Oh, my God. How do we... Uh... <laughs> so ridiculous. We're probably oh going to hate God. whatever they give us, unfortunately. You know? We will not be a loner. I don't think... <laughs> But look at this, Fabu Bricks currently in the target aisle, late the at night, raging, raging loner. loner. <laughs> the floodgates the are The raging open. loner. Oh, God. What, is it safe all after dark now? What are we doing? <laughs> We're still not really saying anything dirty, which is what's... No, it's, oh, yeah, it's I know. loner. It's just a loner. It's just the H. We're like uh, tiptoeing on the gray line that is... <laughs> what? What? Was... HJ stands for human Jabba. Human job loner is, uh, you know, it's oh, like reminding me. <laughs> it's reminding me of the. Uh, oh, I forget the the movie, like the interview, and they have like Eminem on the show, and like here we he go. Says something. Look, Austin put it <laughs> all together. Human interview. Java gives Sean the raging loner. Only a Lego HJ can help. I mean, that's oh. <laughs> we've said nothing dirty here. I don't think nothing. <laughs> Gosh. Oh my gosh, this is great, great stuff. I, I'm glad you've uh, made such great things since I've left. You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, well, Sean, he's see, let's see, Sean's got these smart glasses now. 
He runs around Target and just kind of comes up with ideas <laughs> as, as he's yeah. filming shorts. I have this. I have this personal vendetta against the Ant Man buildable figure, but that's a whole. Wow. Lot. He's always yeah, shitting on Ant Man. It just makes me angry. I'm just mad to see it because. Because he's always in stock and nobody wants it and they won't put it on sale and they don't have <laughs> other stuff that people want. It pisses me off. It's a waste of a, a shelf slot. Yeah. Yes, H.K. and Loner sounds like something else. Something you think? Else. You think? <laughs> <laughs> and and truthfully, Human Jabba being H.J., that was completely coincidental, I swear to God. <laughs> Um, I just well, want I'm a human saying, Jabba. I want a human Jabba figure. I want. All I want human Jabba. I want Boss Nass. When are we getting Boss a, Nass? Dude, a, a Boss Nass right? human Jabba boss two pack. Nass. Oh my god! Hello. Like they could do that. What was that little uh, Lego shop promo where they had Clown Batman and Disco Batman? Oh yeah, I forgot about Dude, that. that. HJ and Boss Nass. Well, the crazy thing is, is HJ really might not be that far out of the possibility because. We're getting a freaking Sith Falcon, like, <laughs> or a Dark Side Falcon, or whatever they're called. We're also and getting oh, yeah, the we most are. wanted figure of all time, Young Leia, which, you know, I think. <laughs> for... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? It's like Young Leia, there's Saw Gerrera. Who else? We're finally getting Cal Kestis. Cal Kestis. From the, from the video game. From the. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, I, I wanted sets on the video game, but we got that one billable robot. We got BD1, yeah. Like, We're getting a Darth they Maul. Minifigures. But then they did minifigures, so, you know, it made sense. So now, Man, I'll tell you what, like, I obviously Queen Amidala, the legendary, like, with the like, exclusive dress mold, like, I know that figure is like $190, and if they remade <sighs> it, it would probably I tank that price. But I how good to half off? I don't even want to talk about it. How good of an anniversary figure would the Queen Amidala red dress would have been? That would have been so. They should have just. Why didn't they just do a new? I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't want that to happen because I'm oh. a. I'm a scumbag who paid way too much for mine. I don't want. Oh to yeah, you it. have it, don't you, Sean? Oh. I do. I do. <laughs> No, I got a good deal. Shout out to Maddie's minifigures. Uh, check him out on Whatnot. A great guy. No, I, I. By the way, he gave me a bro deal, and it was still like ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. No, she, it, she, I think she, it's I'll, going. I'll it goes for like two hundred now. I'll do, it's great. She's two. <laughs> she's two plus. Mine was as mint as mint could be, and it was still like one sixty, one seventy. So it's not like he's like here half off, buddy. Like I, I paid yeah. a lot for it. Um. How is what not going? I have a what not. Oh, it's still going. going. I mean, no, the, the the Star Wars fig game is incredible. Uh, really? Here's another movement. Uh, barge boys. We're we're all part of the barge boys with the sail barge. The barge boys. boys. Sell me on the barge. What's the barge boys? So barge boys. Uh, we we really <laughs> we really. <laughs> You're selling really, your organization. <laughs> yeah, I'll sell it. <laughs> Look, there's no. rumors. There's a silly rumor out there that the Java sale barge is, is going to be the UCS set this year. We, we don't have a problem with that at all. In fact, we, we want that. The problem is we're hearing things like it might come with three or four figs. And it's like Java sets are made by the cavalcade of characters that come <laughs> with Java sets. Last one and we got so, like Max Rebo, right? Like, come on. That's what I mean. You get Max Rebo. You know, Slave Leia. You, you get girl with boobs. You get a, you know, a <laughs> like, yes, girl you know, with boobs. My favorite mini figure. <laughs> yeah, girl with boobs, right? Yeah, bikini Leia. Yeah, you get hot, hot girl boobs. summer Leia. <laughs> what was, yeah, exactly. What was what was, <laughs> what, was it, <laughs> what was it? Endangered Leia. What was it called? End <laughs> endangered Leia. <laughs> I just say endangered yeah. Leia. Oh my god. <laughs> This is a great episode for new. What are you saying? It's not good for old. Like, <laughs> well, are you mean as like a catch up? Yes, this is catching up on all the lore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The uh, lore. No, but like, but but Sarah, seriously, let, let's let's get serious for a moment. All right. Um, <laughs> a job like. It, Correct me if I'm wrong, but all previous Jabba sets, including the one that just came out, which was the Boba Fett Palace, but we all know what was going on there. Are, I mean, they I, made, had, are they not made? Are they not made by the freak show? Are they not made by the freak show of characters? Because I as mean, a Boba as Fett's a build, Jabba sail barge, cool vehicle. Is it cool enough to just sell <laughs> as a sail barge, or should you load it with those figs that we need? I mean, yeah, yeah the, the even the crap Boba Palace that had amazing figs. 
like say what you want about the set but i really like i do love hot there. summer leia by the way good great call. <laughs> hot dude leia. hot girl <laughs> summer leia hot that might be the best sick. that's one of the best <laughs> quotes i've come up with so far what up shy by the way what up shy Yo, shy what's up it's great to see you uh three to yeah, four no, you're really in, a build, right. in a buildable here you go here's the most unforgivable thing sarah buildable jabba buildable jabba are you kidding I me we go from that. an hj to that I want that. Wait, I want a buildable Java. I want a buildable Java. What's Jabba. so bad about buildable Java? What's so bad about buildable Java? Because we they we need that beautiful mold. mold. They haven't given us a moldy boy in like ten years. Oh wait, wait. Are they wait? They're gonna brick build Java or yes? Wait, what? Wait, that's that's, con that's not confirmed, is it? Not confirmed. It's a rumor. It's a rumor. And actually, I take it back. We did figure out. We did get one moldy boy. Uh, was it twenty or twenty-one? Moss Eisley. We did get. We did get a mold. But remember on, on uh, <clears throat> the. Um, did we get one in Moss Eisley? We did. Uh, blur, not a blurg. What is it? Blurg um, or uh, no? It's a uh, not a blurg. Uh, blurg is. Oh, blurg the one that they brick built in the Razor Crest. What's the other yes. one? Guys? Help me out. What's the uh, mold, nicely, mold, mold, somebody the in the mold, chat knows? What's the thing the that the stormtroopers ride on? Yeah, uh, do back, do that, back. Thank you, Cooper. Do back. That's a yeah. We did get a, a do back. Yeah, they were in the 2014 one too. Swear Thank you, chat. Back. Yep. Yeah. I knew the chat would know. Thank God, there's more knowledgeable people out there than us. I swear. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> I, want a buildable Sean. I want that to be a set. Hey, we're working on some stuff. Maybe. You know, I don't know. Yeah. A buildable Sean. Hey, There's like a play feature where like you can put something in the cargo short pocket on the side. <laughs> <laughs> They put a, a sound. They put a sound a brick in there, and he <laughs> says things like human jobs and nodes and stuff. <laughs> Dude, you imagine a buildable farm with a down brick? Dude, that would be crazy. That's what I'm saying. Dude, oh, please. Oh, my gosh. I need this. Thick baka? Yeah, I'd do it. Thick <laughs> baka. Baka. There you go. Dude, a buildable Jabba with a sound brick in there, and he goes, Han Mabugi. <laughs> Dude. By the way, I've had, I've had a lot of people DM me uh, that the tubes is starting to sell out now, Brent. What the happened? tubes now granted they only have two pieces in, as far as stock but no the the billable tubes is selling out because it's pairing very nicely with the r2d2 and the oh. are you kidding i'm not kidding it's starting to sell out and, and You're again kidding. there's no way but hold on a sellout of six thousand pieces versus one or two per store is a whole different conversation that's true. That's true. Okay, and that's people true. are saying yeah. it's a sleeper. Yeah, they're not making anymore. Yeah, I, <laughs> no, I agree. I think I'm gonna have to get the tubes soon. Honestly, yeah, I, I definitely. I was. I was it's for the longest enough. time. I was, you know, in the camp of oh, I'm gonna sit out on on buildable tubes, <laughs> but like with the new R2D2 and the possibility that they're, you know, I don't, I don't know how, if they definitely are doing C3PO or what no, they the are. It's the, done. Yeah. It's a done deal. So yeah. with, with the three together, well, it would look pretty nice. They will be nice. the same scale, those three. Yes. Really? Well, because if you make C3PO mm -hmm. tall enough, you could do the classic, like, you know, he rests his arm on, on, you know, R2's head type of yes. get up. So yeah, it'd be dope interesting yeah i don't think i'll ever buy that chewbacca but you know i think they i know i wasn't going to ever well. either but when you think about you know displaying it with the r2 and the c3po it's like oh, all right, all right. <laughs> you I might see. get me there lego you might get me <laughs> i see i see yeah, yeah. Aren't, aren't there two uh more mario sets that were new or i just remember the haunted house Oh yeah, we could look at those. Sorry, I don't have more to add on them. Oh, like, here you go. Like, ugh, I don't know. I mean, a lot of people like this one, but I don't like Ooh, it. I haven't much. seen this yet. Yeah, I, to me, I just don't know what about the King what, Blue is thick. Mm -hmm. It's, a, I mean, again, it's at least it's displayable, right? It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a medieval <laughs> village, uh, something. Uh, I don't know. Like, What's funny is it's kind of minifigure scale. There's drives right there, Brent. <laughs> Hey, drives. Brent, you got your drives, drives right there. With a new expression, I think. I think the face is new. But 
Yeah. I like this set. I'm not buying it, but I actually I like folds it. up pretty nice. I didn't see the fold up picture. Ooh, yeah, it's yeah. Not bad. Yeah. It's just uh, again, I, so clearance. We're looking at thirty two dollars. This doesn't look like any of the mansions from the games, so I'm kind of confused at what they're trying to do here. But yeah, yeah. I don't hate it. Man, you know what I just thought of? Like, like we're talking about stunts. In Mario Kart 8, some of the characters, well, actually any character, you can race on a bike. That, oh, yeah. I forgot they about the bike. They have bikes in Mario Kart I that, Sarah, that I forgot Roy about completely. Though. You got to admit. I like Roy. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I want Roy, but, man, I don't You don't want the rest of it. I get it. I get well, it. Here's like, that downscaled Peach's Castle. Yeah, like... Dude, that know. chain sounds kind of flames too, though. Something fell. Uh, yeah. I have literally the stupid Peach's Castle right here. That's like a garbage set. And I just do nothing with it. It's not a good display piece. It's not like, like what is this? Like, yep. It's just not random really. pieces. Like just random pieces. Yeah, it's like four plus pieces, but it's we, not a four we, plus. We set. needed a two hundred dollar Peach's Castle, and I'll leave it at that. Like they made it for Frozen, yeah. they've made it for everything else. A two hundred dollar Peach's Castle that you can, similar to that to that haunted house we just saw, where you had the gallery that they could jump into. That's all we want. We want you to jump into the level. That's that's mm -hmm. it. it was, you know, you could have done it with stickers if you had to. Whatever, we don't care. Yeah. Although I will give Mario points; they don't do any stickers. I love them for that. I, I will say that. Well, and I know they haven't done like I know the like Lego art line is kind of dying down, like in terms of like the mosaics. But like Sean keeps bringing up the like you jump into the picture to go to the level. Like they could have done a mosaic of that, like kind of like stained glass peach portrait kind of thing. Cool. They could have done That'd that be... in a mosaic. That'd have been cool. That would have been that would have been cool. Yeah. All these great um, ideas. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, we're all just sitting here. They could give us a call whenever if they want to. <laughs> <self -help. laughs> um all right. I wanted to do something new tonight. Um, uh, we're gonna we're gonna round towards the, the finish line uh tonight. I know a lot of us have stuff. No to, pun intended. Yeah, get going to tomorrow. Um, but uh I wanted to do something special for for Sarah here, uh, returning Aww. to the show for the first time in a while. Thank you, I appreciate it. I want to do, I want to do an ACOB flashback. It's something that I, I've oh. actually watched. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I've watched a few times. Uh, I hope, I hope the Girth Gang's seen it. And if you have, you'll probably, hopefully, uh, still, still enjoy it. Uh, again, okay. But, uh, I, I have, I have something here that I want to share, real quick. This is from, I believe. It was either the very last time or a time or two ago, Sarah, when you were on the show. And uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna bring it up here. Let's see. Okay. Let's get a share screen here, and uh, let's let it rip. Here's a, here's a, here's a. I think one of the funniest uh, ACOB things ever, right here. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Full Price Jones? I'm back Don't again? Discount, oh, man. Gentlemen, how you doing this evening? <laughs> oh, my goodness. This really is Full Price Jones. <laughs> I just want to make one thing clear. You're about 15 minutes away from the releases on September 1st. So I want to make sure everybody's doing the right thing. <laughs> Oh my god. And that is accepting absolutely <laughs> no discounts, no diff, no gift cards whatsoever. You can sit here and you talk about Shin Adi and you talk about all this other stuff. Don't you dare. Don't you dare take any shortcuts. I want you to march your fat asses into your Lego or your Walmart or your Target or even the, the node as you call it. No, I don't want you to no. lay out that slow 110 for this absolute <laughs> legend of a set. Guys, I'll buy him six of these, and here's what I'm going to do with them. <laughs> One, I'm ripping open right in the store, taking the figs, and throwing the pieces all around. I don't give throwing a shit the about these all around. <laughs> The second one, I'm bringing home for one of my minions to build. And the last four, I love skeet shooting. You know what's happening there. Gentlemen, 
<laughs> this is one of the all-time greats. Along with a lot of the other such. Shout out to Chewbacca. I need two more. Mm -hmm. One for each of my RV bathrooms and half. <laughs> and I'm just gonna have the greatest day of my life to move. <laughs> so full full Mr. Jones, this is I mean, these release days are what you live for. I mean, roll up in the Lego store. Oh, you got to make sure you do not scan your insiders. Do you, you're probably not even an insider, are you? No. First of all, <laughs> last week after, yeah, let me, let, me, let me real quick. After I left the show a week or two ago, or whatever it is, I'm so rich, I forget everything. Um, <laughs> I'm so rich, I forget everything. Yeah, I, I don't have to. I don't know what to think or if people think for me, but you, I did hear from one of my uh, minions that you mentioned uh, that I have a VIP <laughs> card or whatever the hell it is. Uh, you honestly think I'd sign up for some sort of cash back or discount or, or points? Seriously, the only point I want to make tonight is I pay full fucking price for everything. <laughs> Uh, all right. Oh my God. So all you players can go out there and try to strut our jobs, <laughs> cash paychecks, and sell your four hundred one ks for this. But just know it's very easy for me to buy so many of these, throw them down the disposal, throw them out the car, <laughs> set them on fire in the backyard. I will never accept discounts on Google because this it's, it's just too good. You know what I mean? I, <laughs> I and with that, all price out. All <laughs> price out. Well, that was I, probably the best appearance of that PJ of like, all time. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what a legend! Oh my god, dude! I mean that, that guy. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> that guy, uh, just unbelievable. And I think what made it so great, Brent, agree, uh, agree with me or not, but like. Sarah's reaction the entire time was just incredible. Like, you were just, oh, like, yeah. so tickled Still by what was going day. on. Like, was like, <laughs> he's, he was going nuts. Uh, <laughs> we haven't, we haven't seen her today. FPJ. We got some FPJs. We need a buildable FPJ. So good. <laughs> Makes oh. me miss Tyler. Where is Tyler? Yeah, I know, guys. He'll we'll, be back soon. Don't worry. He'll be back. <laughs> He'll be back. Oh, my gosh. So, Style is so classic. <laughs> so we did a... This was uh man, I forget how long ago this was, but for for Sean's birthday, I put together a uh like I had a I had a bunch of people like you know say you know tell Sean happy birthday or whatever, but then <laughs> I reached out to Full Price Jones actually, and even he yeah. wished Sean a happy birthday. And I would say <laughs> that's pro I would say that's probably the one of the second best appearances from Full Price Jones when he wished Sean a happy birthday. Uh, just oh, because good. i mean like i, I have the video here people... <clears throat> oh i messed up i blew i blew the finish oh man oh, no. <laughs> wait hold on because a lot of people thought i was full price jones which is is not true um <laughs> hold on we got to finish this i forgot I, I left out like the funniest part what am i doing <laughs> Yeah. Intentionally goes to the Discovery Center where they mark stuff up like exactly five bucks. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Well, somebody said in the chat earlier, earlier they were like, "I bet Full Price Jones goes into Coles, and if they give him Coles gas, he just tears it up." And I, yeah. I, I, that's one of the funniest things ever. Yeah, that's a funny one. <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of Coles cash, I hope I, in Full Price, uh -oh. if you're still out there watching, watch I still out somebody's have... gonna steal that code. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't want to show the code. Um, <laughs> I still I have to use this. Okay, I have to. Oh, hey guys, back to the bathroom. Your name is on there, full price Jones. What, yeah. well, I <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. <laughs> Joins wow. back on the stream with the oh my god. Oh, that no, was wow. so good. That was just Classic. tremendous. That was that oh, was so the best good. Part. <laughs> So, so there anyways, was, uh, people thought I was Full Price Jones, but Full Price Jones came on the show when I was on the show. So huh. it's not possible. So then we had we had this one just to just to kind of show Dude, this. Sign really up for quick. YouTube TV, would you? All right, okay. Boys, <laughs> brick Oh, hold on, I might have to. Uh, <laughs> have to mute. You haven't heard Brent's hear brick clicker yet. Over to wish oh, I gotta hear this. Way, a very very happy birthday. 
Sean, I hope you have a great birthday. I hope you get to build plenty of boxes of boys. I really love what you guys are doing over here on a couple of brickheads. <laughs> it's a fantastic show. Hopefully one day I can make it on. And remember, guys, keep clicking. I'm bricking. Bye, bye. Hey, Sean, it's Sepia here. I'm sure at this point in the... Oh, here we go. Here's FPJ. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, how we doing? My minions have informed me that today is Sean the Right Way's birthday. <laughs> so I am here to wish Sean the Right Way a happy birthday. Now, Sean, any of that birthday money you get, don't you dare, don't you dare spend any of it on a single brick of clearance Lego, you hear me? I don't care what Stud City tells you. I don't want you to buy anything on clearance. <laughs> Anyway, Sean, I hope you have a very happy birthday. <laughs> Full price. Out. What a happy birthday, Sean. You could be Full doing price jokes. That's, <laughs> That's great. Yeah. It's funny. Damn. <laughs> Full price. No, so that, something, 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 something triggered me to remember you just like you just were just laughing your head off. I was dying with that one. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> so he's he's showed price. up a couple more times, but he hasn't reached the the, the peak of. Uh, <laughs> Is he gonna have a panel at? Uh... Record. Yeah, I mean, if I can get a hold of him, he's a very rich. I, I can't afford him. I can't afford him. You know. Yeah, he, he probably is demanding too much, too much of a payment. I think, if he, for... I think if he comes to Brick World, he'll book his tickets a day before so that the flight costs the absolute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, uh, you know. He's gonna he's gonna book the most expensive room in the Marriott in the Renaissance. Yeah, the Renaissance. Yeah. Yeah. The presidential suite or something. He'll yeah. love all Actually, the... stay down the street at the most expensive <laughs> Whoa, hotel it is, that right. I could find. I knew it. This whole time. <laughs> no. that's, uh, great. Oh my God, that's so great. <laughs> quickly, any uh, weekly picks, Brent? I've got nothing. I've got some stuff in the mail, which we can look at next week. Yeah. I got nothing also, just because, you know, saving, saving for Brick World, you know, still trying to catch up a little bit, Dang. you know, after. After the oh, vacay. also, also, uh, yeah. Brent uh, established a very unhealthy Pokemon addiction, which he's leaving out right now. Uh oh, what what type of Pokemon? TCG video game? What TCG. are you talking about, huh? What? Uh, 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 that's a it's hard been stealing one. Stealing all his Lego money. <laughs> that's a so. money waster. But yeah. like, I'm, like you he's buying player. Legos and he's buying Pokemons. <laughs> Ooh. That's oh, my brother has one of those. Like, the beautiful ancient oh, Mew that was handed out when the Pokemon movie came out. Did you get it from the movie theater? Oh no, I bought. Well, oh. I did as a kid, but I I bought this recently and like there. oh my gosh, That's handful so of months ago. No, I was I was really into Yu Gi Oh as a kid. Oh yeah, like played the game and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, but I never like I was into Pokemon as a kid, but I was more into like just watching in the video games, not Same. as much the cards. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, I, I recently stumbled upon a box of like these old sealed Yu-Gi-Oh! cards I had. That was when it opened oh, wow. before the pandemic. Because like right before it got popular to open up Yu-Gi-Oh! cards, I was going to start doing it again, and I wish I would have. But anyway, yeah. I, I recently discovered upon them, and there's like $1,000 sealed things. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I just stumbled upon a gold mine. So I think that's going to be my Brick Fair, or sorry, Brick World money is going to be nice there you go. Yu -Gi -Oh sale. <laughs> yeah I'm, i was yeah. surprised like kind of getting back into like you know the tcgs and of course like you know like you got you got lorcana now coming yeah, out that one's uh, popping off i've heard so much yeah, about that. It's, it's big yeah, it's yeah. but i was i'm surprised to like see Yu Gi Oh still be as popular as it is because like mm. the show definitely wasn't near as good as like pokemon and definitely oh, no wasn't near like the games weren't as good as pokemon but i think the, the main reason why Yu-Gi-Oh is like stayed around is literally just the tcg aspect of it kind of like similar like magic the gathering it's like magic the gathering they don't have video games or a tv show but the actual card the OG, game is they kind of started it all yeah yeah then you got post malone out here buying like a a two million dollar one of one magic card <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Because they did the, they did a one of one. It was the Lord of the Rings one. It was like the one ring to rule them oh, all. The some guy in Canada pulled it out of a pack, and Post Malone bought it for like one point eight million dollars. Wow, crazy, crazy, Imagine crazy, crazy, crazy. Pack, oh my gosh, 
It's like Mr. Gold, but like to the becoming a segment. Literally, the, uh, the the Pokemon chats on a. Uh, <laughs> yeah, legit. <laughs> Wow, that's... But, uh, yeah, no, I mean, if there's uh, not <laughs> anything else, I think we'll uh, we'll bring her home. It's a uh, okay. <laughs> couple hours in. Uh, Brent, recap of tonight. It was a good time, I think. Absolutely. I mean, what was funny is, speaking of Tyler, I think it was one of those episodes, Sean, when you weren't here, and me and Tyler were going off for, like, probably a half an hour about Lego Mario, or Lego Mario Kart. Uh, sorry, <laughs> oh, no, I remember. I was at Downtown Disney, and I was, like, calling in, and yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of cool to, like, kind of see that come full circle a little bit. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, I think we said it wasn't happening at the time because of the yeah. uh, Hot Wheels. So we'll s- Hot Wheels we'll had see. the deal. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll see. I... I'm definitely I'm I'm with Sarah's take on like small like ten dollars like I like that because I would love I to see them lined yeah. up like like four or five ten dollar carts yes. or whatever that you can buy and finally imagine finally having a Mario minifigure so. yeah <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> exactly Lone we'll see we'll see but no um yeah I mean another great episode uh, 131 of these things I mean that's crazy to see that we're, we're this many episodes in uh, the hype for Brick World is, is coming up the hype for Lego Mario Kart uh, yeah ooh Captain Rex and Hot Wheels <laughs> nice Austin <laughs> yes they are clever pig the most I was actually going to say uh, Sean when you were gone for a sec I mentioned uh, the Lego Inside Out 2 set the Lego yeah no I, I was listening I are um, you gonna, are you hyped for any of those or what? Oh yeah, no for sure. Like I'm <laughs> no, Did that's one of those that ones one? that that's one of those ones like Lego does a really really great job of you know, botanicals being like probably the prime example, but they do a great job of like releasing a set or two a year that really connect with like the spouses of <laughs> Of like <laughs> Lego freak because my wife all time out of everything. I mean, she loves she loves the OGs, you know, uh, Mermaid for Life. That's her girl, oh, right? Yeah. I mean, it was right it's when she mom. was like six when it came, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and and loves Lion King and Mudes and all that stuff. But of the modern era stuff, really, really connected with Inside Out. When I told uh, her they're making a set, she's like. She already knows I'm gonna buy it because I want it, and she's like, "But I'm built." She's like, "No, that one's for me, and I want to build it." So, so. It's weird because it's I think it's a fifty dollars set, so I really hope they get the four like main emotions. In the if movie. they can get us the emotions, apparently the Samora Mosh coming in the uh, new yeah. one. So maybe you know, I, if if it's a one and done, which it sounds like you said it was, mm-hmm. I I just I I hope, I mean, in in this instance. Give me a little horrible build, but just give me like all six, eight, or whatever it's going to be of yeah. the, the personas, right. like because otherwise, are the emotion because otherwise, yeah, it's going to be a mess. Because if they tease and leave out a certain emotion, like that's going to be a problem, you know. I'm so, really you know, scared that it's very gonna be emotional, a, <laughs> like a brick. <laughs> a nice, I, I'm scared it's going to be a brick headset or something, but I don't think it's in the brickheads range. Oh, god, I hope not. Although I'll tell you what, if it means we get all six or whatever in a brick headset, I guess I'd rather have that than to not because that's just for fifty bucks. They're not going to give you any more than four, I don't think. But uh, yeah, it's tricky. We'll still have to see what they do. What's the girl's name know. again in there? Uh, uh, Riley, I think. Right, Riley. Riley. Perfect. Yep, yeah. that's it. Yep. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. But, but, yeah. No, I'm, 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 I'm yeah. pretty stoked on it. So, oh shit. Guys, if you stuck around this long, we don't ask for it much, but give us a like and a sub. Recommend us to a friend who might want to listen to these uh, morons talk about Lego for a long time, <laughs> once a week. For Brent, from Brent's Bricks, from Sarah, hey. Hey, just too good. Making yeah, her triumphant um, return to the show. Oh, this you. has been Sean the Right Way. And this thing right here, this silly little show, podcast, hangout is... And to answer the question in the chat, I want Andy's room as a Toy Story set. Ooh. Andy's room as Toy Story set would be fire. Right? Ooh. It's the story story asked in the chat. I'm like, I want that. Very, very fire. Story. Yes. And Cooper also says 270 subs until 3K. That's 3K. Yeah. Let's run it. 
No sub, everybody. A couple of brick hands. Yeah. Give it to me. We'll see you right here next week. Peace.